Thumbs bleeding. God damn it. This is not a good start. No, no spontaneous uh, blood. You've how, done did this. You take, how did you take bleed damage already? I don't know. I'm going to go grab a band aid. You guys Everyone do the panic. Intro. Everyone uh, panic. Oh, God. No, uh, only, uh, no only I can panic. Yeah, only That's only my one. job. I'm not <sighs> doing it. And I made a mess of things. Dad, oh. I have a task for you. Don't panic. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, uh, don't, don't wait, wait, don't panic, but I have to wait. No, no, <laughs> actually, we didn't even see that hole there. That was bad. One of us could fall in there, that isn't panic. Mm. <laughs> mm. Funny that. Hi, guys, welcome to the Unexpectables. Oh, god, uh, are we live? Oh, my god, it's, it's terrifying. yeah, I, I didn't so, realize you were so. back. Uh, no, I'm a new guy. I'm Connor. Uh, who's that oh, guy? Oh, hi, like, Connor. Sort of, uh, do you, oh, hi, sort Connor. of got un unexisted a la Back to the Future. It was nuts. Oh, jeez. Uh, are you, you, you post-grandpa or pre-grandpa? <laughs> uh, pre. Uh, Bosco, where can they okay. find you? On the internet. I see. Whoa. All there? Mm-hmm. Oh. All of the internet, everywhere, mm -hmm. every website ever. Oh, Bosco, I have to tell you something, actually. What's up? I watched, I caught one of Seven Ray D's speedruns the other night, mm -hmm. and I, I'm like, shoot the Bosco, and he goes, what are you talking about? And I had to explain to him that you're the, you're the lichens with the picks. Yeah. And he was like, he's like, wait, that guy in the call was the guy who voices some of the lichens? I'm like, yeah, please kill him better. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Seven Ray D goes, more as well. Seven Ray D is like, I'm on it, Monty. We'll do an all kill all of the Bosco run. And I'm like, yes! Yes! we were joking about that. I'm just, yes. Kill all the Bosco. It was a joke. I don't think he's going to kill Bosco run. run. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have all, to kill all, all the, the, all the it, lichens. But only if I get to sit in the call and if, shit talk if, them the whole time. If anyone can mod the games with only Ed's, enemy, Ed, Ed's monsters we get to fight, that'd be great. That would I mean, just be... that's super easy. They just got to take the model and have it repeat. Uh, Bosco must die mode. Bosco, yeah, Bosco must, must die, die mode. <laughs> there, there we go. go. Perfect. There you go. Nailed there it. it is. All right. Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you? Oh, uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Man, I got two videos out last week. Uh, one on Gaiju Perspective, that is my alternate channel, and then the other on Gaiju Goomba Media. Monty! Hi. Have I you haven't seen watched. Them? No, I've been really. How busy. could I'm so sorry. I, ma I made it so you could watch the Moreau video and not be spoiled. I know. How I'm gonna dare. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a binge watch of all of them one night with friends, I think. Honestly. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I still yeah. got Donna to do. Uh that's coming down the pipeline. But yeah. Uh, Morosa Kappa, at least to a small percentile degree. They even say it. We looked at they the we looked it. at the concept art, and mm -hmm. it's great. And I was like, Gaiju Goomba effect. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> it's so, so I've done that. <laughs> I have I've talked about how uh, Dimitrescu is basically Hashak-sama, because that's also in their their own notes. And then I'm looking mm -hmm. at Donna as well. Donna's not as obvious, but I do have some theories. Uh, I am actually working on a new witch ninja to talk about the ninja job class from Final Fantasy XIV. Because, hey, have you heard about the award-winning MMORPG Final Fantasy with nope. other things? <sighs> yeah, I know. I know. Warcraft kids are or sailing over to. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. me, am, I, am I the main bad guy in that? No. Then no. no. Bosco, uh, so, listen, you are the elf of the shell for voice acting. I'm sure you'll get in there somehow. Let's go! I, I, I anyway, you're actually you're saying that Anyway. Now. Have you ever played uh, an elf on a shelf, though? Uh, go ahead, Gaijin. Thank you. Uh, no, but I'm, I'm going to be working on a uh, witch ninja for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hopefully will be getting help from the actual Ninja uh, Japan Council, who are, it's like as primary knowledge <laughs> oh. as I can get. <laughs> I mean, yeah, how it's, much it's more good. legit can you get except for a secret society? I mean, I mean that yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of the idea. ninja council. So no, no, it's an actual thing. It formed last year, I believe. Uh, they saw they saw my Witch Ninja series. They saw that I follow the Nindo uh, video account where they actually upload like real ninja facts from Iga, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully, I'll be working with them on that if they get back to me quick enough. Um, other than that, I am working on so many more things for the second channel. It's it's a lot of fun. As far as streams go, I'll probably get back on Monster Hunter soon. I've gotten done what I want to for the Gunfire Reborn update. That was tight as hell. Um, I've also been thinking about doing some musical streams because Ooh. my my electric taiko should be coming in very, very soon. And I'm actually good enough with the Shinobue, which is like a bamboo style kind of flute. Um, that I can actually play music on it and not want everyone to die uh, from embarrassment. 
So I might be doing some musical streams in the not too distant future. Hmm. I'm always very busy and it's good sometimes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Zito, where can they find you? Over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Rankin Almanac on Patreon. So, uh, for all of you who are waiting on Aloysius' Guide to Social Acceptance, funny hoo hoo ha ha story, uh, I'm splitting the book into two. So, instead of it being one giant thing that may not be everyone's cup of tea, I'm splitting it into two things. So, everything's been split down the middle. Uh, that'll be coming out actually a lot sooner because I spent all day today reformatting all the stuff that was actually prepped and now it's going to be coming out way sooner than expected. So, hang tight, you're going to get like 30-something plus player options going forward to torment your DMs. Uh, beyond that, you find me over at uh, Twitch where I cracked open Metopia and I said, alright, well, I, I fucking spent... I spent like two months doing that one stupid character design uh, prod that self-inflicted project with fucking Sonic characters, and I'm like, ah, uh, what if I got Metopia and I just started playing with it? Spent two hours in the content creator to make one fucking character, and everyone, I, I retained like 200 and something people still watching, so I guess that's a fucking thing that's happening now. So Metopia streams. A bunch of other stuff, like a lot of other indie games, too, that are coming out soon. So there you go. How can you integrate Kratz into it? <laughs> into an RPG Mother adventure. M motherfucker, don't don't tempt me. I'll find a way. I actually <laughs> after two hours of struggling to make a cat on a fucking me. I got it. I actually fucking <laughs> got I, it. I challenge you, Zito, to make to, to, to make a go kart character whose head is a go kart. Mother, oh my God. I can do it. I think I know how. I can fucking do it. There's more death to his character beyond the go kart. <laughs> no, go kart is their character. Go kart is Whoa. all. I mean, if someone can make a, a nineteen dollar V two uh, a V bucks uh, credit card, then on a fucking me, then it can be done. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh... Amazing. Uh, Tiger Hat One One. Where can they find you? I uh, can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, in which I now run an anime bar over on my uh, Twitch channel. Uh, we got our, I got, had some fun playing some Yakuza Like a Dragon today. I unlocked the additional classes. <clears throat> Namba is now a street performing breakdance fighter, as it always should have been. <laughs> as it always should have been. And I got the bars open Thursday and Friday night. And yeah, I'm actually going to be. Saturday afternoon, I'm gonna put on a, I'm gonna put on a hat, uh, pop open a carbonated beverage, and I am going to play Power Wash Her Simulator. And everyone's playing that. It looks so relaxing. Shit. Yeah. But cheap, unlike a power washer. <laughs> <laughs> if they want to go buy a power washer, yeah, just go buy a giant machine. Jeez, I, anyway, I like that. I like that legit actual people who do power washing for a living actually like picked up that game and said. This is way more fucking, like, precise than it needs to be in real life, but the only plus side is that there's infinite water. Yeah. Ooh, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, infinite. Well, man, there's infinite water. <laughs> that's good. That's it for me. Seems very zen. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Monteglue, where can they find uh, you? I'm writing the intro. Hi, uh, you can find me at Monteglue on Twitter where you can see me posting about the fact that my D&D &D character died this week and other such fun <laughs> updates. Oh, um, no. Uh, rest in peace, Stein. You, you weren't meant to be, it seems. I rolled very bad all the time. Anyway, um, you can also find me uh, at Monty... Uh, sorry, twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. We finished up Resident Evil 8, which was really, 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 really fun. Um, and uh, I'm actually, speak of the devil, I'm going to be playing Metopia uh, in that slot, which is going to be a huge tonal whiplash switch. <laughs> um, so definitely come and check that out. I've actually played the... I, I, okay, calm down. I've I've actually played the game before on the 3DS, and I'm really happy to revisit it on the uh, the Nintendo Switch because I actually really enjoyed it on the 3DS. Um, and then this actually tomorrow, 
Um, I've tried everything to get Majora's Mask to work for Zelda. I'm sorry, I just can't right now. So we're going to be doing Wind Waker. We're going to be starting Wind Waker tomorrow, which is very exciting because that is my favorite Zelda, and we are going to 100% that game. Nice. So definitely come and check that out because it's going to be really, really fun and exciting. And I we're not doing the the the, the figurines, though. That's not what I mean by 100%. I just mean, like, you know, initial run through. So definitely come and check that out. It'll be really, really, really fun. <laughs> Excellent. I can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, I was playing some more uh, Digimon the Trading Card game yesterday with a, a bunch of my friends, uh, and we're getting quite a few people involved in that. Uh, it is a lot of fun, actually. I'm, I'm having a blast with it. I actually just got on the website and made a few more decks just today, just because I felt like it. Made a monkey deck. Why not? Uh, <laughs> Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a bunch of uh, funny games with my friends, uh, including Amogus. I played that with TFS uh, last week. Angus, that was a lot Angle. of fun. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. You'd probably be playing some Sh Guilty Gear Strive or something of the like. And then... Saturday, I'm playing through Yakuza myself. I'm on Yakuza 4 Remastered. What a great game. Holy cow. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I, I, can't, I can't sing its praises enough. It's just a fantastic game. Uh, Sunday. Or, well, that's happening before Gateway this week. Uh -huh. uh, and Sunday, I am buckling down. I am going to try and finish Resident Evil 8. Yay! Uh, I, I played it a couple of times uh, when when I was I was I was um, partaking in some adult beverages, uh, and I've, I'm going to decide to finish the game because I I wouldn't play it otherwise. Uh, yeah, that's happening this Sunday. Uh, be sure to check out uh, Dead House Sonata, action RPG where you play the dead to fight the living. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, and also check out my DMs Guild, where I just released the Augmentation Artificer. Uh, super fun, funny, uh, super fun, funny subclass where you can, uh, you can augment your body to do crazy shenanigans. It's absolutely insane, and I highly recommend it because I made it. Uh, other than that... I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's festivities, Die Hard Dice. Yeah! Oh, God! Yeah. Shit! Sorry! <laughs> What's the oh, thing? Oh, oh, I was oh, waiting for it. One second. Hold on. I got it. Uh, uh, there we go. I can't believe this. I'm writing the intro to all of me. Yeah. And time. That was five <laughs> seconds until she reeled. <laughs> I was typing. There you go. <laughs> fuck. Could fuck you, Z. I was typing this. about you. Now I have to delete it all because I hate you. <laughs> oh God! I Damn. understand that, and I know that. Well, no nah, man, just uh, a singular line. Task the Cobalt Ranger is a bitch. Yes. <laughs> this uh, this uh, character assassination is brought to you by Die Hard Dice. Yeah. Uh, Die Hard <laughs> Die Hard Dice, uh, the home of many polymer and metal dice, uh, many different sizes, shapes, and colors. They've also got gay dice. That's right, gay dice, and they're on sale uh, for hey. the low low price of thirty three percent off. I think it's almost like eight dollars. It's it's pretty insane. If you want some gay dice, go ahead and get yourself some gay dice right now. Dieharddice.com. And if you are so inclined, you can use the coupon code GREGLES at checkout to get 10% off your entire order price. It's going to be fantastic. It's an absolute steal. There, oh, yeah. Uh -oh. That's wow, what I got. No, no. Hey, you made the attempt. I didn't have to chime in. There you go. All right. Uh, with that out of the way, the only people I have left to thank are the wonderful people who showed up tonight and donated gifts and subs and all that stuff. And who boy, there's a lot of them. So thank you and good night. Anyway, Monty, are you... No, come on, Bosco. <laughs> By the way, before we read out the bits and subs, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has donated bitch... Uh, bitch, oh no. Oh, wow! wow. Ah. Yes. Oh, and now so... you have to edit yeah. the video. It's going to be one of those nights. Nice. Oh, uh, anyway... For those of you guys who donated bits and subs, 
I want to say a huge thank uh, thank you because by doing so and with you guys being so generous, we actually sent a bonus out to Austin as well as all of the artists who have done work on the show. Um, so without you guys, that wouldn't have been possible. And we're really, really happy that we were able to do that. So Austin can get a, you know, maybe like a little, uh, little hamster water bottle or something like that. And our artists can get like, I don't know, a pencil or something. A pencil. A singular pen. Be Look, better, done... Jack. <laughs> Shut up. But a uh, special thank you guys. Yeah, you're thank you one so micron much. this year. Eh. They get to eat basically as well, which is always good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, how much time do I got? We are ten minutes over. Uh, I'll give you ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll get through these Not as bad. fast as possible. I'm sorry if I don't read your messages. I have to get through these, but thank you, regardless. Uh, Gear Cannon, thank you for the 14 months of Prime subage. Lich Wannabe, thank you for the 7 months of Prime subage. King Kiwi, thank you for the 3 months. Terran817, thank you for the Prime subs for 5 months. Accusic, thank you for the 6 months at Prime. E Pam, thank you for the 15 months. Clockwork1030, thank you for the 11 months. Dr. Dank Memes PhD, thank you for gifting 5 subs to the community. Extra Vowel, thank you for the 9 months. Riku9619, Thank you for the 15 months. Burning Pie, thank you for the 14 months of Prime. Cypher04, thank you for the 14 months. Griffin9989, thank you for the six months. The One Free Man4218, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Skyblaze71325, thank you for the 15 months. Mr. Fuck em Up 2001, thank you for the yeah. Prime sub for 13 months. Greasy X Spoon, thank you for the 14 months. Sergeant Tucker, thank you for the 200 bits. Crow the Immortal, Thank you for the 15 months. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Revengerist, thank you for the 11 months of Prime. Saint Jimmy, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Uh, Frugal Man, thank you for the 12 months of Prime subage. Not Dante42, thank you for the 15 months. Free Shavakadu, thank you for the <laughs> two or 12 months of Prime subage. Deluna13, thank you for the 90 bits. Felix the Bard, thank you for the 15 months. Drake Fate, thank you for the 13 months of Prime. The Ink Den, thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Besugo, thank you for the sub. General Red Panda, thank you for the 100 bits. Gunzerker Crazy, thank you for the six months of subbing. Agent Sly, thank you for the 100 bits. Like Tabuya123, thank you for the 15 months. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Irish Katana, thank you for the, the gifted sub. Flustered Bun, thank you for the 300 bits. Mr. Insecure, thank you for the 15 months. Kane Lane God, thank you for the 7 months. Poindexter, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subbage. Thornton 6000, thank you for the 5,000 bits. Rexasar, thank you for the 100 bits. Worm Spawn, thank you for the 12 months. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Two Kobolds and a Cloak, thank you for the 15 months. Dippin' Bipples, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Nexels, uh, Otaku, thank you for the four months. Pie Rounded, thank you for the eight bits. That One Blind Kid, thank you for the 11 months. Lovely Lorelei, 51, thank you for the 10 bits. Kalin, K Kalinidas, thank you for the 15 months. Irish Katana, thank you for the 300 bits. Zero Ray, thank you for the 100 bits. Free Shavakadu. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to uh, Mini Sama. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Kale Ward. Marcus Otero, thank you for the 15 months. Saint Jimmy, thank you for the 25 gifted subs to the community. Holy cow. Appreciate that, man. Bag of Holding, thank you for the 15 months. Drago Soon, thank you for the 1,050 bits. Uh, Captain Dead, thank you for the six months. Aunt Ponch, thank you for the. 500 bits. Entity Walker, thank you for gifting a sub. Mad Tom K, thank you for the 15 months. Best to go, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Nom Nom Goblin, thank you for the 100 bits. Nom Nom Goblin. Nom Nom Goblin. Uh, Reaper321, thank you for the 2,400... Wait, no. The 245 bits, sorry. It, hey, it's One Uppington. Thank you for the six months at Tier 2. Lasame the Robot. Thank you for the 13 months. 10,000 armored bees. Thank you for the 15 months. Spevacan, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Bill MSU, thank you for the 13 months. Foxley Foe, thank you for the 245 bits. 
Mutron9, thank you for the 200 bits. Zenlita, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Infinite Scratch, thank you for the 12 months. Meta Nexus, thank you for the three months of Prime Subbage. Uh, Special K, thank you for the bit. <laughs> Flux, I love the cereal. Gudra, thank you. I do too. I just ran out last night, actually. 400 bits from Flux Gudra. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Yet, 28-2, thank you for the 10 months of Prime Subbage. Shadow Flare 8, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Nico Quas, thank you for the sub. Erwin Elf, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Destroyer777, thank you for the 13 months. Twisty the Kitty, thank you for getting a tier 1 sub to Vin Smoke Sanji. Mad Tom K, thank you for the 200 bits. Mexabear, thank you for the 3 months. Pseudonym92, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh... STSTW, thank you for the eight months of Prime Subbage. Uh, Crazy Claw, thank you for the 13 months. Mad Tom K, thank you for gifting a sub. Thornton 6000, thank you for gifting five subs. Pentageddon, thank you for the 1,050 bits. Protoss 103, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, Archeo Lumiere, thank you for the 95 bits. Pain Lane God, uh, thank you for the 500 bits. Friendly Grim, thank you for the 100 bits. Nico Koss, thank you for the 100 bits. Foxley Foe, thank you for the gifted sub. Flustered Bun, thank you for the bit. Humdrum Gum, thank you for the 15 months of Prime subage. Blue Kios, thank you for the 5,000 bitch. Uh, bitches donated. Uh, <laughs> just some just some undead dude, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Hojus Jr., thank you for the, for the 100 bits. Defective Sheep, thank you for the five subs gifted to the community, as well as Steve Broganoff, thank you for the five subs. Uh, Rar Hockey Dude, thank you for the 300 bits. C. Vanders, thank you for the 150 bits. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 150 bits. Rouge Phoenix, thank you for the one or for the 10 bits. C. Vanders, thank you for the 150 bits. Special K, thank you for the 200 bits. Toa of Twilight Z, thank you for the 1,000 bits. And Skeletalpha. Thank you for the 15 months. Bravo. We got two more. Hmm? You have two more. You missed. Whoa. Oh, well, they just came in. Uh, oh. Dragon God 20, thank you for the 595 bits. Uh, Stash 0007, thank you for the 5,000 bits. And Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. All right, you guys good to start? Let's do this like Brutus. Connor. What? <laughs> no, it's more like this. <laughs> All right, you hooligans, you can stop now. Impossible. Impossible. Alrighty. When last we left our heroes, Task, the Cobalt Ranger, Borky, the Orc Barbarian, Greckles, the Kenku Rogue, Remy, the Kenku Fighter, and Panic, the Tiefling Bard, the party is home in Alavas, enjoying some well-deserved downtime. After a lovely picnic, some flying lessons, and a frightening nightmare, the party is focused, wanting to tie up loose ends and shop, and explore and converse and do all the things great heroes deserve to do. Now, as we return to the lower crafting district, we follow Task, the Cobalt Ranger, his heart beating in his chest as he approaches the Griffin's Roost. So, Task. Yes. How do you look right now? Um. No worse for wear. It's uh, Task, and, and in, in an average day, the same outfit, probably maybe a little bit more cleaned up, but. No, nothing too drastic has changed. Okay. How would you like to approach? Well, first off, let's uh, take a view and see who's, uh, if I could like visibly see who's riding, who's like going in and out. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Ah, uh, rolling, right. The thing you do in this video game. 
tabletop video simulated <laughs> fun, fun video game. game. Tabletop video game. Math dice. Nice. Natural 20. Natural 20. As you look up to the garrison, uh, one of the outer walls, or actually inner walls, technically, uh, you see currently Avery you giving orders to Bonray and Clyde, who quickly fly off, and then following them is... Uh, Avery leaving Winter behind, who is currently seems to be cleaning out, like cleaning up the roosts and the stalls at the moment and preparing to basically saddle their griffin. Uh, I want to at least make sure, uh, Task at least wants to make sure that no one else is there when Winter's there. Like, like you know, not like surprise her, but like make sure that no one else is in earshot. Yeah, with that perception check, she is by herself currently and just dealing with her own griffin. Uh, Tass, like, finds, like, a piece of wood to knock on so she can, he can get her attention. All right, you climb up the side of the garrison, up the wall, and then make your way over, and you kind of take a uh, take a pitchfork, and you kind of just pick it up and quickly, like, tap the side, and she kind of turns and looks and gives you a smile and kind of waves at you. And she pulls out the dagger and kind of does, like, a like a sort of, like, uh, piratey sort of, ha, huh, have at ye, sort of, like, stabbing motion, and then she puts it back in the sheath and kind of gives you a smile. I hold my hand up and like as if she's about to mug him, but then like smiles away. Uh, so with that, Tass like takes a look one more time, but then uh, moves over to her. So about that conversation I wanted to have the other day. She nods. By the way, it's really early in the morning. Like it's like six a.m., like five six a.m. right now. Winter, I have to be truthful about something, and based on how you would gauge it, this could change how we preview, uh, we uh, purview ourselves, at least in a... This is so difficult. Now I understand why Panic has such trouble. You watch as she puts a hand on your Thanks. shoulder. I, I look at her hand, look back towards her, and I nod. Where do I start? It's... Winter, I'm sure you remember when you first met me. I was less amicable. She kind of... You see her eyes kind of go, like, half open, and she kind of gives you, like, a little no like nod, like, ah, I see you also picked up on that as well. Sort of <laughs> cheeky, in a way. She kind of nods yeah. at you. Well, I understand that's now something everyone laughs about, even myself. It's kind of a demon I wrestled with for a long time. And you saw how that ended. Literally wrestling a demon. You can see her eyes kind of go down to the ground, remembering Darkus. You are not the only one of his victims. And she kind of looks back towards you and gives you a very serious nod. We both got to see how that ended. And I'll be truthful. The fact that you and I were both able to see it end, to see something that tormented us in some way vanish. And I won't lie, the fact that you were there, the fact that it all stems from me wanting to make sure that you were okay, and the fact that you were there to make sure that I was okay, it was an amazing feeling. There's a slight tilt to her head and a smile. There's more to it, though. When you first met me, and you kind of gave me a swift kick in the ass to make sure that I'd stop swiveling around when you were showing me about flying on the griffin. She, like, laughs, but there's no sound. It's, like, kind of a, like, you can see her almost chortling into her own hand, but there is no sound from her mouth. And she kind of gives you a nod and her griffin kind of leans up from the water and kind of clacks its beak and looks down at you and then goes back to drinking. That's something I'm not going to forget, ever. It gave me a massive swell of confidence and... It made me admire you. Her ears slightly perk up at that. 
and watches she reaches out and she puts a hand on your chest and gives you a nod as if to say i admire you too Cass like nods and then looks towards her and like there's like a mild smile to him but like it's more like serious like he's like telling like showing her that this is coming from somewhere deep mm -hmm. winter i haven't stopped thinking about you for a while and knowing where my path might take me and the fact that I've never felt so calm and so at peace. I understand if you won't see it this way, but I treasure you to the point where I would like to spend the rest of my life with you. There's a moment of pause. She looks at you. She doesn't seem that surprised. You watch as she reaches up to herself and points at herself. And then she points up to her head and taps her head. And then points to you. And then she points to herself. And then puts a hand over her heart. And points at you. And smiles. As if to say, I've thought of you. And I care about you. There's a choke in task, not like an almost buckling back a tear. She steps forward, and if you allow it, she gives you a hug. I let her hug first, and task hugs her right back. As she steps back, she pulls something from under her her like her uniform and pulls out this piece of ice, unmelting ice. And she unloops it from her neck and she hands it to you. This gesture being a cobalt's gesture when they asked to be married or united. You gave her the knife and mm -hmm. she gives you this. Uh, it is a necklace of never melting ice from the Northlands. It doesn't do anything, but it is a trinket from her homeland. Task like looks back at her and smiles, wears it very visibly and very proudly. I wish there was something I can give you from Iron Oath, but the knife I believed would have sufficed. She points at you and kind of laughs silently again, like, oh, you, you're from Iron Oath, that works. <laughs> All right. And, uh, and she takes your her a kiss. Okay, do you kiss her? She yep. accepts. Hell yeah. In the far off distance, despite not seeing anything, you can't help but hear Gregory going, oh. And the bow comes out, and I'm shooting him down from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and so Gregory died this day. And as he goes down, oh, like, <laughs> as, as they're kissing, you just see him fall in the background. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Task. That is your scene. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, of course. That brings us to Crackles. Yeah. Yours is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be bullet pointed again. I'm, I'm very sorry. I mean, there wasn't anything exciting. Didn't imagine anything exciting would happen. So I got I got no it's, it's it's construction work. Um so yeah. you you make your way to the new temple mm -hmm. site. Notably, a lot of things have been moved from the old temple in the forest to this site. Mm -hmm. Um old they've actually they're taking out the stone like etchings. They've removed them from the cave walls hmm. and are currently in the process of framing them in glass so that way they can be preserved. Um, and the various depictions on there are depictions of solar and other celestials of the Pantheon um, in crude depictions, uh, as well as the stone altar is being placed as the main sort of, um, I don't know what the exact word for it. I think it has a different word. It's like an altar. It's basically mm -hmm. the, in the place of the altar of this new temple. Um, it contrasts the rest of the new building with this sort of ancient stone look, but it looks rather nice. Mm -hmm. um, you actually run into Hammernar. 
Oh, nice. Who meets you and he kind of sees you and goes, Oh, hey. And he steps up to you. Oh, hey, Amrinar. I, I figured you'd be here. You really stand out in the sea of dwarfs. He just looks around and you see a bunch of dwarfs going, <laughs> Hi, Amrinar! And he's just like, uh, he kind of waves with like that pained expression. Hmm. I thought I'd come by and help out if there's anything to help out with. Actually, you could. We're currently taking measurements. Sully Andrus wants to design the stained glass of this new temple. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so, horizontal, vertical, what kind of measurements are we uh, talking? Vertical. You see that we have uh, eight open spaces. He points them out. There's eight. There's four on each side, and there's a big, probably three-panel stained glass panel in the back. Mm -hmm. um and with him you both kind of sketch out the di diameters and come up with ideas of what would probably fit really well uh one request that sully had made was to have one of solar specifically mm -hmm. um and then on top of that i would say uh, maybe this is me speaking for you but would you be interested in pitching a phoenix potentially on oh absolutely absolutely okay. um a phoenix with uh with maybe a, a backdrop of the sun like okay. just somewhere, uh, because the 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 one t the one big takeaway is that despite the elemental plane of fire being its own thing, it having such a close association with Orin is very very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. absolutely. Uh, Hammernar kind of looks at that and looks at you and goes, "That is a good point." You know, some dwarves mentioned to me the other day a group of people, including a couple of Kenku, came out of their forge. I take it that was you. Oh, right. Yeah. <sighs> It, it trans transplanar travel is just really weird. Must be a good forge then. <laughs> he kind of smiles. All right, he kind of closes the book. Mm. This place is good. It'll work pretty good for a um, secondary point to get to the Underdark. Currently fixing up that elevator. You just see like a bunch of dwarves that are just loading out giant boulders. Like there's mm -hmm. some that actually have used the spell in large reduce to make themselves bigger to carry out larger stones with wizards mm -hmm. assisting as well and telekinesis and you know um tensors floating disc and stuff like there's a whole network of magic making this process a lot easier mm -hmm. um hammer kind of turns over and goes uh, i take it you guys are the folks who hired adventurers to find this place we have no real interest in well taking anything but there were a decent amount of iron ingots in there and unless you want your bedroom full of iron ingots we'd be very happy to take them off of your hands oh absolutely that that would just be literal dead weight to us I think Those... Bork, I think Borky and Task are the only ones interested in construction at the moment. But I don't think they need any iron. Yeah, irons. You want steel, proper steel, especially for. I feel like the you could just cut doing. to Borky. There's some more spikes you needed there on the left side. Yes. <laughs> it's not even, but I don't even in an orky way. <laughs> One of the orcs nods. There's that still that painting orc who's just like really like sweating <laughs> on the as he other does. side of the pa painting. Like, oh shit! Just slowly, just, mm, just trying to get those edges down. Properly. Yeah, he's like really like you know when you're trying to paint the eyes of like a like a space marine and like your hand is shaking. <laughs> you're like. Ultimate, <laughs> It's like Go that picture Go of uh, Go of 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 Gollum, like the picture of Gollum, like sucking in his lip. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I, no one has a hand that steady. It was never designed that way. <laughs> um, but Greckles Hammernar kind of gives you a knowing nod and and departs eventually. And you see, like as he's like, oh, Hammernar, leave him so soon. We're getting drinks after, and he's like, I'm good. I'm I'm great. A a Hammernar, really quick though. Yeah. How, how knowledgeable are you about relationships? <laughs> he just laughs. He walks. He like <laughs> you know you know in an anime when someone power like speed walks closer to you in like a few frames. Like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> perfect. He does that and he backs up to you and he leans up against one of the uh, foundation posts and goes, "Greckles, I haven't met my wife ever." Okay, that's that's absolutely fair. Uh, I just But I yeah. am also how old is Hammernar? Hold on, I gotta take a check this real fast. <laughs> Breckles, I forgot my age help. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. But he also looks down and he goes, Greckles, I'm 122 though, so you know, what what's you having girl troubles? It's not really so much troubles, it's that you know when you love someone and you just want them to be happy no matter what but 
they're still struggling. Mm. I don't know. I, I, I feel I feel like I want to do something about it, but it just feels like there's nothing to do. How do you cope? Greckle, sometimes just existing in a world that can be sometimes be cruel is the greatest victory you can have. If you can just let that person exist, you're helping. I suppose that's true. I just, I just hope she can figure out what she's going to do with her life. Me too. And I know who you're talking about. Solly Andrus's experience is a unique case. I mean, it'd be like you having to turn on all of us. It's not easy. Yeah. Obviously things being different and some people would argue there's no comparison but mentally it's a comparison to be made i think she has it in her but it will be difficult but nothing in life is worth it unless it's difficult in a way well happiness comes from solving problems i've come to find i just worry happiness. about all happiness also can come from anywhere it's true just want to make sure she's okay. She is. She's better. Trust me, she was a mess when we first met her. Poor thing. <laughs> if you told me this was the same woman I met those years ago, I'd think you a liar. She's really come into her own. And you have yourself and your friends and her warriors to thank for that. Yeah. She's got a, she's got a good support network. I did too when I was younger. I have five parents. He just looks at you with like a wide eye, like. I'm gonna I'm gonna re return the look with a big like crooked like shifty eyebrow up, like what? I have two elf parents, two dwarf parents, and Babacus. five. Huh. I bet I bet family get-togethers are an awful pain. <laughs> They're really entertaining. My birthdays are awesome, but uh, yeah. No, it's helpful though. You know, I could have had just my two elven parents, but I have four parents now. And my dwarven family taught me a lot about myself that my elven family didn't. And, you know, Sally has got a good big group of people to get a lot of perspective from. And I think that's good and healthy, but she also needs her own perspective. And that is currently what she needs to figure out on her own because you don't have her perspective. She only has hers. So sure. don't worry too much. I'll try my best not to. Uh, is there anything else you need? No, we're pretty good. Okay. Uh, like I said, we'll get you paid for these iron ingots. We're probably going to give you half off because they've been sitting around for a while. A little rusty, but, you know, what hey, they're look, worth. Free resources is free resources. You're not going to tell me not to look at gift whores in the mouth. <laughs> Absolutely. And who knows? We might be able to repurpose them for some elements of uh, getting to the Underdark. A rail system, perhaps, or something like that. The gnomes are looking into it. He kind of waves his hands and begins to leave. And those uh, constructs as well. Yeah, the constructs. He, he He's just sitting there pondering in his head, like, very obviously. Oh, and, and Hammernar, if you have, yeah. if you ever, if you ever need to uh, escape, you know where to find us. God, please. <laughs> you just watch as he walks away. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Panic. Uh, before we do that. I... Oh, yep. Uh, I think we need to resync. Oh, do we? <gasps> yeah. yeah. Uh oh. I, I typed in the chat earlier. Oh shit! Sorry. Uh, yeah, my my recording paused for a second, and I want to make sure that it, nothing nothing hecked up. And better to do it before his scene than after. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let's sync up then. One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 One, two, three, sink. 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 I hope chat uh, synced with us. Oh, yeah, they are. Good. By the way, Zito, phenomenal scene. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah, thanks, dude. Yeah, really, really good. All right, I just want you to, I, I just want you to know that I know we can't play it on stream or anything, but I had fucking Song of Memories from Nine playing in the background to give me some. Oh hell yeah, dude! Yep. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. All right. Yeah, dude. All right. Panic. You good to yep. go? Yep. 
as you approach the Temple of Orin in the Lower Cleric District, you run, as you turn a corner, you run right into Remy, who also seems to be going to the exact same place. Hang uh, mutters, shit. And <laughs> uh, panic, hello. Uh, hi. Uh, uh, come this way often. I didn't expect to see you here. Uh, likewise. Are you doing some sort of morning prayer type thing? I didn't... Uh, sure, yes. You know, stretching the legs, seeing the townsfolk, I suppose. What, what brings you to this part of town yourself? I just had some things I needed to talk with Evelina about. You know how oh. it is. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, uh, I guess we're going to the same place. Oh. What What? What do you have business with Evelina for? Ah. Uh, uh, I, there, I, there was a... I wanted to uh, ask her about a thing that I remembered from uh, way long ago. I cast Detect Thoughts. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Well, oh, fuck. that's messed All up. Right. Can I cast Fuck No? God <laughs> dang it. You got Counterspell. No, I don't. Not yet. Yep. What do you All think right. about, Remy? Click, click, click the spell for us first, so we can clarify <laughs> what the right. spell does. Yeah, there we By go. By the way, this spell is illegal. It but is. Reason, you, can read, you can read the thoughts of certain creatures. When you cast the spell as your action on each turn till the spell ends, you can focus your mind on any one creature that you can see within 30 feet of you. If the creature you choose has an intelligence of three or lower or doesn't speak any language, the creature is unaffected. Remy, what's your intelligence? Um... High enough. Okay. Uh, as an action, I can either shift my attention to another creature's thoughts or attempt to probe deeper into the same creature's mind. Oh Jesus! Uh, I'm just doing a surface. I'm just doing a surface level. I'm. I'm yeah. I'm trying yeah. To... So, his thoughts right now, surface level. Oh shoot! Wasn't expecting panic here. This is not good. Boy, this is awkward. How do I get rid of him? <laughs> Okay, now I'm digging deeper. <laughs> Damn All it! Right. So now you need to roll a wisdom saving throw. Great. I'm you see a small, you see a small fledgling, like half feathered Remy sitting on the floor <laughs> with building blocks. Yeah. Oh. All right. And the DC is what? Seventeen. God. DC seventeen. Oh, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh! 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 Six. What you thinking about, Remy? Oh! Oh, give me a minute to process that. You fuck you, roll 20. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I mean, I'm not built a... for that, and you almost pulled it off, you beautiful bird bastard. Oh. All right. How you so what? I have to tell you everything he's thinking? Uh make a wisdom saving throw. Uh I gain insights into its emotional state. Uh something that looms large in its mind. Uh, okay, then I think you get yeah. this. Uh, his emotional state is 100% panicked, no pun intended, and it is because uh, he is here to see Evelina to get information to relay back to you, and seeing you here was not part of the plan. He sort of he sort of blinks his eyes, which are sort of glowing with arcane power, and he like leans back in his posture and sort of stands up a bit more straight. You were here for me. Do I do Monty above game? Does you you spell... absolutely know I cast it on you. By okay. The way. Yeah, since you know since, since I spell. since I dug deeper, and I'm gonna I'm gonna end the spell. By the way, <laughs> just so I don't pry too hard. Remy's gonna scratch the back of his head. Um. Yes. I apologize. I didn't. That's an intrusion. Although no, he's tap I his just. Head. I mean, no, it's not an intrusion at all. I mean, literally, just 
broke into your mind to figure out your your thought process. And normally I would be quite upset, but I trust you, and I would appreciate if we didn't do that again. Right. And as you say that, don't forget, you are in a public space, and there are people walking around. We're whispering. Is anyone staring at them ominously? No, but they can. <laughs> people can hear, but luckily no one's heard so far. Anyway. Wall goblin child sucking yeah. on his thumb, watching I'm, them. I'm between them. Panic has enough wherewithal to not let it slip in an audible fashion that he mm -hmm. just cast an illegal spell. Okay, okay. Just continue the scene. I just, you know. Why? <sighs> I'm just trying to help. He, he sort of looks like he's got something he wants to say. <sighs> Coming from you, I believe it. I just don't get why. You're not used to people doing things out of the goodness of their heart, are you? No, not for me, anyway. It's part of the when people do when people do things for me, it's usually for a reason, or they want something. So, I guess I'm a little suspicious. Although it's you, so I'm sort I of guess, having some conflicting thoughts here. I guess I do have an ulterior motive. There is something I want from you, and there it is. I okay. want you to be happy. What do you want? I want you to be happy, Panic. And I know what this means he, to you. He he sort of like rubs rubs at one of his eyes. He got woken up early today. He's got little eye crusties. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm not sure what to say. Why don't we go see Evelina together then? Right. Sure. Maybe you can help pick up any slack I might have in this field. Sure. Um, the person who nearly ended negotiations for the entire elemental plane should do all the talking. I agree. Well, if I've learned anything. That was a joke. Couple... You were supposed to go inside, please. I... If I've learned anything these past couple of weeks, it's that people make mistakes sometimes. Uh, a lot of times. I was referring to myself, not you. Sorry. I was referring to me, too. Great. Well, more self loathing inside of the temple, perhaps, yes? Yeah. There we go. I'll I'll walk him inside and and before we go in I'll just say thanks for thinking about me. You deserve it. He's gonna put like just a hand on your shoulder, just a firm reaffirmation, and then walk in with you. Okay, walk in. All right, you guys push open the double doors of the temple and enter inside, uh, to which you see about probably nine people inside. Uh, it is, you know, early morning. So it is a, uh, oh, 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 sorry, I'm just getting some music here. Um, that is the prime time for worship for Oren worshipers. Uh, you see a farmer currently standing there with uh, what appears to be their wife, a halfling farmer and their wife. Uh, you see a couple dwarves in as well. Um, and there is one construct who is just kind of hanging out. Um, and a few other various spatterings of human, uh, elf, sun elf specifically. Uh, and you see at the front, currently uh, just cleaning up is uh, high, uh, head priest irons. And you see currently um, kind of collecting what would have probably been offerings, uh, Evelina. 
And on her shoulder is her weird 2D cat that Zenryo drew on her shoulder. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, my God. I'd forgotten about that. Uh, <clears throat> Evelina? Mm -hmm. You watch as she, like, slowly turns. She's always, always kind of, like, aloof. And she kind of looks and goes... Oh, it's you. And you. Hi. <laughs> Good to see hey you again. Good to see you, too. One second. Don't come too close. You might rob me. And she watches. She takes the the sort of coffers, <laughs> and she kind of closes it and locks the box and sets it aside. Just gotta do a little bit, you know? Remy's going to lean into panic. She she does realize I'm rich, right? Is that a joke? It was a joke, right? I... Cast detect thoughts again. No, I don't. <laughs> Son of a <laughs> Jesus. Remy cast backhand. <laughs> Oof! She kind of turns back and goes, How can I help you guys? You missed the sermon if you were coming for that. Ah. That's no trouble. Uh, I actually had something I wanted to ask you. Oh, I'm not available. I'm not into dating right now. <laughs> not what I meant. Well, it's related, but not towards you. Rose it's okay. We'll find someone. <laughs> <laughs> Evelina, I believe you Just... misunderstand. We have <laughs> questions for you about Periton. Oh, okay. That's less exciting. <laughs> Fuck, uh, panic mutters under his breath. Fucking tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Remy will motion for panic to go ahead. Just sort of visibly bloodshot eyes, and he <laughs> fucking he sits down in a chair, casts thaumaturgy, so he looks less like uh, less like he's about to fall asleep. Remy's also <sighs> going to cast prestidigitation to clean him up, so he looks like he's also more awake and not disheveled. Yeah. Like, I actually comb my hair. Exactly. Uh, so, I've been having a bit of a bump in the road when it comes to talking to someone I fancy. Oh, Helena. She smiles and nods. Is it that obvious? She's talked about you one or two times more than that actually i can't count that good what does she say <laughs> um you know that she misses home and she wonders mm -hmm. how her parents are but at the same time she really likes you and someone called zarv and some other people and so she's like super torn because maybe if things are improved, she might want to go home. And so she doesn't want to commit. But at the same time, she thinks she might be happier if she commits. But it's really complicated. And also she's worried she's racist, even though that was kind of hot to us. And it's really hard to unlearn. And like, she feels like even though she like she's getting better, she has these lapses in that. And that makes her a bad person. And so because of that, like, you're better to be with the other people because she's a bad person. But at the same time, you know, she's not a bad person. She's got a lot of things in her head. How much is she fucking with him? <laughs> no, Can panic, I inside panic her? Like, no, Panic seems Can like anyone? he's paying attention to this. Can uh, I insight to make sure that she's not just rambling and that this is legitimate? Sure, absolutely. Go for it. <laughs> it's a soft 20. Nice. Okay. She's not lying. She is straight up just telling, like, this is, like, girls gossip night out. And she's not Fucking embellishing gossip. anything. She's so she, oh just, she has very yeah. loose lips with other people's information. Yeah, Holy she God. absolutely Good does. Deal. Good deal. Uh, if, if Panic catches Remy's eye, Remy's just going to nod and give him a look of, like, yeah, no, that's legit. Audrey, like, totally slept with a Tannerock. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can you believe it? I don't I like I'm not a like physics magician, but I don't even know how that would a work. Physics magician. Uh panic panic sort of like is is nodding slowly, uh sort of trying to make it visible that he's paying attention. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Huh. Well, I mean, Shh. I lucked out, and she points towards Chief Irons. I mean, my family's here, in a way. My parents were never really the nicest people, but Helena's parents were really, really nice. They might not even know what's going on, and that might be bothering her super, super, like, a lot. She hasn't talked to her parents. She shrugs. I mean, like, what would she tell them? They're devout followers of the parrots and Orin clergy. <sighs> he sort of slumps in his chair. I had no idea. Fuck me. <sighs> Such an idiot. No, you watch <laughs> Zephyr puts a hand on your shoulder. I'm pretty dumb. She like looks side to side and looks at you and he goes, I can't count and I'm in charge of the coffers. She gives you like this look like, damn, like, isn't that fucked up? What? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I, I, I give her a, 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 a measured look. Just <laughs> like... Raise an eyebrow, but his mouth sort of says, that's none of my business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can be tax fraud on him from countless occasions. Oops. Look, I look around for, for Bismatty Primtash just briefly and then turn she's back to her. He's cocking a shotgun on the other side of the stained glass right now. Like, just see the silhouette. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. Continue. <sighs> Damn. I don't even know if I should be springing this on her right now. Well, I mean, the other thing, too, that's kind of like, I don't know if you thought about this a whole lot, but like, a lot of us who defected didn't really like our paladins and didn't really like the stuff, but a lot of the ones that ran away actually kind of liked it. Helena didn't really get a choice, did she? It just kind of happened. N no, from what I hear, it was all arranged. I'm just... No, not that silly. Uh, I mean, the fact that she's here and the fact that she's kind of stuck here. Oh, that sounds was... mean. Did that sound too mean? That kind of sounds mean. Alabast is great. Places keep exploding a lot, though. And then there was that yeah. incident. It's a bit wild, so I can, I can see that. I'm... <clears throat> I like it, too, but I, I sort of... I understand, yeah. And she... She's not under. She's not under watch or anything anymore, is she? Like, no. From, from well, except for all I know, well, except for one thing. That is. Oren. Oh. And the problem is, and she kind of looks over at Chief Irons or Chief Irons. Oh my God, that is Resident Evil Two. My brain mm -hmm. stop. <laughs> Priest Irons. The camera pans back to panic, and he's Leon. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, yeah. uh, priest beats just a bad tub. Evelina looks over towards Priest Irons and looks back to you and goes, "You know, sometimes with the Orin clergy, the United Orin clergy, they kind of do this thing where they think that their they make it seem like their expectations are Orin's expectations, and it can be really hard to, you know, remove that, you know." Yeah. I don't know, and I guess. Helena seems to be taking the steps to improve herself. That being yeah, said. She, she has. She's got this phenomenal fire in her that the drive to improve herself is, well, it's inspiring. And that's saying a lot coming from a bard. And I think I've fallen for that and a couple of other things she was always a really pretty girl <laughs> not quite what I was talking about but yeah she's pretty I mean even with the scar she's still really pretty her eyes are beautiful that piercing emerald green mm-hmm Uh, yeah, um, so I was just kind of 
wanting to know if maybe you had any unique insight on how I should maybe confess my feelings to her in a manner that she'll understand, I suppose. Oh. I've... Oh! Okay, I get it. Well, I can't... No, I get it. <laughs> there's a moment of, like, like there's a moment where, like, you can see the dial-up noise for, like, half a second. <laughs> I get it. Her eyes blue screen just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a moment. Mm, yeah. Oh, man. Parrots and girls. Um, you have to be very, very direct. And... Um, gosh, how do I even tell you? Um, well, some parrots and girls who aren't part of the clergy, they like the flowers and the songs and the poetry and all that. But most clergy women don't. It's more like a, um, here's what I'm offering you. Do you want it? No, yes. Here's, you know, that, this, and this other thing. It's kind of a lot of people say it seems pretty loveless, but at least it's presented in a way that you can kind of think about it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Am I making sense? And she looks towards you, Remy. I'm not making sense, am I? Remy will nod. She's making sense. She just talks a lot. <laughs> That's Evelina. Yeah, I, um, yeah, I understand. If I were you, she kind of like stiffens herself up and like, She's really kind of a little bit racist, but she brings up her fingers to be horns a little bit. Oh, his face, his face kind of goes flat, but he, he just, he still looks at her. Oh boy. You can see her getting into the mindset and she goes, if I were you, <laughs> I would hmm, go up to her and say, I like you. I want to have a life with you. Do you want to have a life with me? And she stops. Do you want to have, like, kids? Potentially. I mean... Okay. She goes back and, like, you see her face, like, like the lighting changes. And she goes, I want to have children in the future. She stops. Whoa, wait. I, I, say, I say that to her right out of the get-go? Like, like... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, so then she knows what she's signing up for with you. That seems a little forward. <laughs> that's how it is in Parrots, and we get our paladins, and it's like, how many children do you want? And that's the way it is. Oh, I'm not fuck. saying it's right or wrong, it's just what we're used to. I don't even know if... Okay. Uh... Right. Well... And you think Helena will be receptive to this forwardness? Because I've I've seen someone be forward with Helena, and it went like I still think about it. Did she know this person really well? They had just met. Well, then she kind of gives you a look. I mean, she talks about you, so she knows you. So maybe they'll go differently. <laughs> Panic sort of sort of closes his eyes, and like you can see, like a like his silhouette and a zoom and an X ray on his brain, and the word "dumbass" is written on it. <laughs> or the alternative is you wait. She kind of counts on her fingers, and she lifts up five fingers and goes, "You wait three years for her to finally figure out how it works in Alabas, and then you ask Ben." And she gives you the dumbest smile, and she's a hundred percent serious. Hmm. You know, given all the crazy shit that's happening right now, that's not as unviable an option as I think. <sighs> okay. Well. Oh, and one more thing. Uh huh. You gotta figure out what she thinks of you. I mean, if you're gonna go the subterfuge, sneaky route, not like sneaky as in being a weird creep, but like sneaky as in, you know, figuring things out and knowing, you know, the strategical advantages to positioning yourself in a men mental way to like figure out what you're, you know what I mean? Like, figure out where she's at. Right. You you said she talks about me sometimes. Mm -hmm. 
has she ever said anything to the effect of maybe reciprocating my feelings? Roll a persuasion check. Can I can I aid him? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, you have a persuasion. Uh, I need to get sky. I need to get trained in this at some point. I'm giving you advantage. Here we go. That's all I can do. Uh, that's okay. Fifteen. Thank God you got the advantage. Let's go. Yes. Fucking wingman. Yeah. Wingman over here. Well, she said that you're very kind. You're very talented. That you're pretty he, handsome. He, he, shake, he shakes his head and it gets increasingly faster. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she said you're extra. Gets faster. And sometimes you're a little loud, and it kind of freaks her out. She's describing Napa. Oh my God, Borky, Jesus, he, my brain. <laughs> he, he sort of like raises his lower lip, sort of like, okay, but yeah, I understand. Um, but she feels like she only knows one side of you, which I think is just because like you're very extra. Um, she says that. She kind of looks side to side. She says that sometimes, and you're not going to hate her if I tell you this, right? No. Yes. She says that sometimes she forgets that you're a tiefling, but when she remembers you're a tiefling, sometimes she's scared because, you know, periton. And she feels really guilty about that. Remember I was mentioning earlier she's scared of being kind of still having problems with that? Yeah. Yep, that's it. Huh. Okay. And, you know, she feels like if that's the way she is, then she doesn't deserve to be loved by you because, you know, that's a wrong way to think. And it's, you know, bad and, you know, wrong. And I don't know. When, when, when she says the sentence doesn't deserve to be loved, just visibly drained sort of slumps over. Mm. You know, uh, I'm not a relationship doctor. Maybe I should be. Maybe that's my calling. Uh, Romantian is a place where you would sign up to be one of those. <laughs> you see Chief Irons just behind you go, no, 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 no. <laughs> like behind you. Just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, just maybe... Again, this is a theory, an Evelina theory. Um, maybe she's hesitant to love you back because she thinks that she's not really herself because she has these thoughts in her head, maybe. Like, you really like her. You think she's great, but, you know, sometimes she relapses into this thought process that makes her not great, and that means she's not great, and it means secretly she's not great, and she's lying to you, which makes her a terrible person, and, oh, the tragedy... Oh, this would make a good book. She kind of she kind of looks at you and goes, "That I will not write because it's personal." Right. Don't go monetizing my romance problems. Hmm. Unless you give me royalties. She kind of cocks her head a little bit at that. <laughs> I can't count. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been incredibly enlightening. I guess uh, Temple of Orin would be the place for that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the Great oh. Watcher helps with all. Here's hoping we could help each other. Evelina, I can't thank you enough. This well, is you helped me a lot. Thank me? Or you could I, I grab her I grab her hand and when I take my hand away from it, uh, there is a stack of fifteen gold in her palm with yeah, the word with the number the number fifteen written on one of them for her. Okay. <laughs> Whoa <laughs> Press this digitation one... one five. Whoa, this one gold piece is worth fifteen gold? That's crazy. And she walks oh, over for fuck's sake. Oh, you... <laughs> Wow, the first beautiful, dumb $1. child. I just want to point out all of the other Orin, like, clerics can, can count. This is just Evelina. <laughs> Good. She's eccentric. 
All right. Well, thank you again. Mm. You've really, also, you've really helped me. Mm? I also, I didn't tell you anything. He sort of, he, he sort of like grabs one side of his lips and then presses the digitations, the sound of a, <laughs> as he drags it over, like he's zipping his lips. She nods, and then she turns to Remy. So, what lady problems are you having? <laughs> I suppose that's the flip side of the coin I have. I'm not allowed to have problems. Well, that's great. And she walks away. <laughs> uh, by the way, Evelina, mm -hmm. you were the one in Gruul's camp that had that vision, right? You recognized the mask that... Yeah, might... the bird mask. It was a weird dream. I think we figured out what it was. And thank you for the insight. I didn't realize it till I saw it. Up close and oh, personal. well, I'm glad to help. Remy will nod. As she kind of walks over with the coffers, Chief Iron. Uh, oh my God, Resident Evil Money, stuff. Please. I'm sorry, to... Priest Irons. All right, there's there, 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 there are three. Back here. There are three Aaron's I'm dealing with right now. Anyway, um, <laughs> so many as, Aaron's. As as uh, Eve Evelina kind of like walks by, you hear uh, Priest Irons go, "You are not going to the Romantian. You are not working at the Romantian." She's like, "Okay." <laughs> Can I pull Paddock aside when we leave? Yeah, absolutely. You guys head out the front doors. And... Mm -hmm. Guess you could say you got a lot of irons in the fire. Ah! Uh... Uh... <laughs> wow, great one there. I am Can a genius. Panic explodes. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we just down a shot. So that's how I become a main character. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys are outside of we are the outside. temple. So. Uh, well, I sort of feel like an idiot. I guess I am one. Uh, this is... No, this is good. I know, I guess, what's going through her head now. Uh, I guess I just need to think of what to do. What I'm going to do. Would you like me to talk to her first, or would you rather handle uh, this yourself? I think, I think I want to do this on my own. It's... I appreciate your offer, honestly, I do, but I, it kind of feels like I wouldn't have learned, kind of feels like I've learned nothing if I have help with it, but it doesn't come from me. Remy's gonna pat you on the shoulder. I believe that's a wise decision. So you may be dumb, but you're wise. <laughs> well, I mean, my wisdom score is one, my intelligence is two. <laughs> if we're using a scale of some kind, whatever. Right, right. On a scale of like one to, one let's to say, five. Sure. I will say, I would give you a five in charisma. <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. <sighs> one day I'll learn how to do that. Hmm. You, uh, did you get any use out of the Sending Stone? Oh, right. I was going to use that. Uh, just a moment. I'm going to pull it out real quick. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and I'm going to burn the use, and I'm going to send a message to Solly. Right. And it's going to, I don't even need to count out the words, but it'll say, My apologies, I forgot. Lady Isla says the invitation is still on the table if you want it. <laughs> okay. You get wow. a prompt message back going, uh, Master Remy, with due respect, do try not to find yourself being an accomplice to Isla's pranks and jibes, please. Thank you. Am I am I allowed to respond, or do I like get the one message? Yes, That's it. it's the one. Damn it. It's the one. <laughs> hey, man, I promised Isla I would do it. I had to do it. I'm going to hand the sending stone back, and Remy will look very... Flustered isn't the word, just disappointed that he had to upset Solly as part of a bargain. Stone-faced. You there's seem... Anything I, if there's anything Isla loves, it's fucking pranking the other Asimar, dude. Mm -hmm. 
that was brief. Yeah. You you told me that you found your dad on the roof, right? Uh no. Okay. Huh. Reverse that. Uh, my my. Okay. Lots. <laughs> Here we go again! Boom! <laughs> you cast a tech thoughts no. again. I swear to God, I'm cutting your fucking no. head off. No. <laughs> Why would you detect thoughts on a person who has? Never mind. There's so many. I, well, thank you. you. you yeah, you... I was my part of the bargain. Lady Isla asked me to. Ah. Right. Is that what you asked me about, Lady Isla? Yes, I. I ended up getting to see her compliments of Lady Soliandris. Ah. I see. Is it a council matter or? No, it's a personal matter. I, um. Huh. I, I was a detriment to all of you in the elemental planes, and I. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> fuck you all about mate. <laughs> uh, okay. You weren't you weren't a detriment to it at all. Really? You would were... you like to would you like to ask Jade if I was a de detriment at all? Well, like I said we all make mistakes. Mm -hmm. In the uh in the heat of passion mistakes can be made. Jimbo. Well, I thought I had my head on correctly, and I did not, so I had to rectify the situation, and Lady Isla helped me do that. I see. Is there a... Is this about... I know about Remy's missing dad, don't You I? sure do. Yeah, you do. This is about your father, isn't it? Remy's just gonna nod. Bad news, I guess. No. He's alive, Panic. That's what she told me. He's alive? Yes. Do you do you know where he is? He's on the continent of Ultim, that's all I know. And that he's not anywhere near Valithia. Remy, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> it is. That's why I wanted to help you. I Hope is important, and I went there thinking that I needed to snuff out the only bit of hope that I had left, and instead it ignited a inferno of hope, and I'm just trying to pay back the gratitude that I have for it. <laughs> I see. Hope is one of the most powerful things in the universe, and we need a lot of it right now, and... If you need anything from me, the magic man who can spy on people and send messages across great distances and can heal those with uh, great magical shit that's fucking up their vibes. Great pitch. <laughs> I'm here. I, I do appreciate that. And if you need anything from someone who doesn't have an ulterior motive, my door is always open. Sort of, sort of looks down at the floor and smiles. Remember, you have to love yourself before you can love someone else. You are worthy of it. I'd like to thank that. Don't just think it, know it, Panic. We all have our flaws, but deep down you're a good person. It doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what you wear. At your core, you're good. I wouldn't lay my life on the line for anything less. <laughs> you know, that really means something coming from a guy like you. <laughs> With a huge stick up his ass about honor and all that shit. Yes, well, as you are learning, old habits die hard. <laughs> they never die easy to... What the fuck? Dragon just, just breath weaponed us, Monty. I... <laughs> <laughs> yes, seriously! Sorry, I heard die hard and it just it happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
Well, I guess we've said if you ever need anything. So right. I think yeah. this is the part where we go our separate ways and tell no one about this. Right. We have reputations to keep up. We're not allowed to like each other. Exactly. And I am not allowed to let people know that I have relationship issues. I say, or feelings. Mutter under, <laughs> mutter under my breath out here in public. As you guys say <laughs> that, you can't help but notice a bunch of pigeons just staring down at you. Yeah, shatter at fifth level. <laughs> <laughs> and I will join him at second level. <laughs> Don't actually. And as we shatter off into the night, we're good. <laughs> yeah. As you guys make your way back, you all rest for the several days you have, and we'll take a break here and we will continue group shopping. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Woo! Come Drifting, on, get Connor, the car, girl. You. We're going shopping. Uh, I fucking love role playing with you. You're great. It's amazing what happens when we're allowed to interact in character. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, you, you make it sound like you're not allowed to interact in character. Well, no, the well, problem we is just never... that Remy and Panic are on such opposite ends of the spectrum. It only took 170-something episodes for them to finally start talking. Yeah. I'll be right back. Because Remy had the stick up his ass and Panic was like, pull it out. <laughs> Live a little. Commit the war crime, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Commit a war crime or two, <laughs> you bastard. Well, welcome into the halftime show, guys. What's up? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, flustered Bun with 100 bits. Technically, if you think about it a bit, both Gaijin and Bosco are furries because their characters, all D&D characters, are furries. First of all, I don't know if it counts the same for Feather. Second of all, that's a really low bar to clear, in which case, well, I guess it's not special to be that anymore because everybody has played some kind of animal creature in D&D before because there's just so many damn races based on them. Uh, I'm going to screw this name up. Asuzik, thank you for the 500 bits. Holy shit, that scene was awesome. Great job, you two. Well, thank you. Screaming at seagulls, thank you for the five tier one subs gifted to the community. What's up, your acting ability, Bosco? Thank you. <laughs> Screaming Seagulls, thank you for another tier one sub gifted to yourself this time. Remy was too big with his calibrations. He was. I have to go do some calibrations. Shepard. <laughs> I like big birds and I can't lie. Thank you for the bits. Bits for the horny bard. Blackwood here with the lead bits. And now, Deep Thoughts by Panicked Remy. Oh, I'm back. What up, Zito? I'm back too. What up, I, Gaijin? Oh, never mind. I, I thought Matilda was going to start screaming. She did a little bit during <laughs> your guys' scene. Uh, the Repairman, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. OMG Shopping and Makeovers for Everyone. Lovely Laura Live 51, thank you for the 100 bits. Damn it, Panic. Stop ending nuns. Stop sending nuns to the brothel. Damn. Is a Minotaur a furry? Technically, yes. Uh, Burnout Vaughn. Hey, Connor, just finished that Dragon Paladin homebrew I mentioned, money, and I took your, I'm assuming you mean Monday, and I took your advice and worked the legendary action idea into the 15th level feature. Thanks again for the help. Look at this man. I'm sure, I'm sure on his wireless headphones, he is happy to hear that, Vaughn. Look at uh, this Vince man smokes giving homebrew out. It's true. You guys are the homebrew kings in here. Vince smokes Sanji with 100 bits. Hollywood girl stereotype voice. <clears throat> oh my god. Let's go to the mall. Shopping. Oh my god. It's so great. Like with panic I'm gonna, when he like I'm gonna go into away, the Rolex. Oh my I'm gonna, god. I'm gonna go to the Rolex store and ask them what time it is. Oh my god. You know the best thing about Panic Grimsong? <laughs> He's got handlebars. Oh. Allah walla bingo. Thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> hey guys. Great scene as all of you. Uh, also, Chief Iron's daughter is now my new favorite NPC. Uh, Arch, thank you for the 95 bits. Question for Monty and Taka. With what Mim said on the Iron Mouse stream, is the Weary 101 in the Devil Demon Ward of Rampoon City? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Dragon God with the 1,050 bits. Full. Someone say war crimes. I'm in. Huh? I bought I bought some old vintage sodas, but they require a bottle opener, which I don't have. Use the edge of your table if you hate, don't mind breaking it. 
It's true. Also, uh, Ver4, no, don't worry about it. I got, I'll deal with Therapod once I'm done with all the bits and subs. Twisty the kitty, thank you for the 100 bits. Yes, feathers and scalies are still furries, but having animal characters doesn't necessarily mean you're a furry. Correct. Spoken like Thanks a for the wiki. kitty. Yes. <laughs> uh, Scat, thank you for the 50 bits. The part with Task and Winter made me cry. That's a bad thing when you're driving. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, you, you kind of need visibility when you're on the road. Zito, how dare you? You are how Man. inappropriate. God. The character took him like How dare you be a good voice actor? Soul. What the fuck? <laughs> now, why, why did I choose now at episode 170 for Tash to bear his soul? Yeah, I mean, because he's I. finally allowed to. <laughs> hey, at least you succeeded. <laughs> it's true. God, all the other right, right. relationships except for Zito. At least, at least Remy's hashtag not family member is in a good relationship. Because no, I but that. we just need to make him hashtag main character though. No, I mean, good luck. Shell said it somewhere. It doesn't until she changes it on the wiki. Y'all can get over it. Uh, a name among many with a hundred bits. And now after the break, we catch up to Borky trying to milk an owl bear or something. God, please no. Uh, Kane with the five hundred bits had to catch up from the wind oni fight. Finally, have a, two, a Thursday off in South Korea. Two thirty p.m. here. Well, welcome in. Welcome in, one yeah, and all. What? Annyeonghaseyo. What? Hello. Are you Korean. speaking Korean? Yeah. Annyeonghaseyo. Uh, Pixel Girl with the uh, 300 Pride Bits. Holy hell, the role play, role play between these two is rare, but absolutely incredible. I agree. You'd think being in two campaigns together, Connor and I would actually role play more, but nope, our characters are always polar opposites. Totally unintentional. God, it's annoying. Because God, Connor's so good, and I hate it. Pie rounded with the bit saying, I haven't played a furry. Fix it, pie rounded. Ah, yet. Excellent. That is the appropriate. That is the appropriate follow-up. Zanwin, thank you for the 500 bits and change. Hope everything is going well. Love and lust abound. Have the bits. Uh, magic. So this is 100 bits. So before the session started. I think I saw a bit spin into warp speed out of the cup. Yep, that can happen. It's more likely than you Nico think. Nico Quas with a 100 bits. Get in the card. We're going shopping, bitches. Think of the 100 bitches. Uh, Sergeant Tucker, if the other members of the cast of Red vs. Blue... Uh, wait, if the other members of the cast in Red vs. Blue, what team they would be on? 200 bits. I'm assuming you mean the Unexpectables. I... Well, well, obviously, Task would be blue. <laughs> obviously. And Greckles would be red. Yeah. Duh. Oh, God. I don't want to read this, but I will because they donated 500 bitches. This is from uh, <laughs> ZN Lita. Uh, this says, I'm keeping updated on Dead House Sonata, and I'm excited. Last I heard, they added a quest chain that gives the player a brief history of agriculture. The legacy of grain is surprisingly engaging. That, that, took, that, that took a while. Did you uh, uh, did you hear that uh, silence then? That means back to the drawing board. But thank you so much for the 500 bits. Protoss 103, 15 bits saying, let's go to the mall and get some Starbucks. That's true. If you can get some Starbucks, that, it's delicious like, coffee. As I golf down some craft boss coffee. Yeah. I couldn't open coffee my Sas from Starbucks. I, could I couldn't uh, I couldn't open my sarsaparilla soda, but I could open my little cola soda. It actually had a twist off cap. Where's but... your juice box, Monty? Shut up. What? That was a legitimate question. I wanted to try some like novelty sodas. That's fine. Ooh, I've never had I've never, sodas dude, too. I've never I've never had sarsaparilla before, and really? I, oh, no. that's what that's what I was trying to drink. I was gonna give it a try, but I, I'll have to wait until I get a bottle opener or a. Uh, you like yeah. ginger ale? Yeah, I do. Get you Red Rock. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> get get Red Rock ginger ale. I don't know if we have that here. Uh, two hundred bits from Brian Mer uh, Merle. Now for white, red, and pink baby kobolds. Whoa. Oh, boy. Peppermint stripes. Uh, Flustered bum with the bits. Also, how are you, Bosco, and whoever else is there? I just saw my dog get stuck 
in my cat's bag, and he was too dumb to get out the way he came in. That is that is peak dog energy. Yeah, Wolf, absolutely. man. Big Wolf. dumb dogs are the best. And I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. It is. Let me continue to scroll. Yeah, do, do orcs count as furries? No. They what? do not. Why is this such a topic? I don't know. People are just asking the question constantly. I think it's because of my Resident Evil tweet. Uh, uh, I did. Uh, I did. Uh, I was. I did voice in a shit post earlier that someone posted. Uh, uh, asked, like, so, someone made a bar. It was that bar comic where someone just like gets so mad they go into a bar and start a bar fight by saying, "Is SpongeBob a furry?" And then everyone fucking oh, loses their mind. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! I, just I voiced a bar in fight that one. I like. I like the argument. It gets probate riled up. But is Clifford the Big Red Dog a kaiju? Yes. Well, <laughs> he is one hundred percent a kaiju. That. Uh, he's based on, so I, I know a little something about Japanese mythology, oh, and so... Oh, shut the fuck little, up, Bosco. Little, little being the key word there, Ed. Wow. Wow, so rude. I know. I just uh, Cross, thank you for the thousand bits. Just got all caught up for the fifth time watching the show. Now I'm all caught up again. Thank you all for the times to get me through work. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Also, about seven halflings. Thank you for the thousand bits. Hype. For the shopping is real. Uh, death also, destroy 119, 200 bits. Hey guys, watching your stream while going through the airport security. Hopefully, I can watch your whole stream before I get on the plane. Love you all. Ah, hey. Gaijin, by the way, I, I said the whole thing like, oh, this is an Evelina theory. And I heard you sigh. And I was like, why is Gaijin sighing? And I'm like, oh, shit, that's right. Uh, Fine. Yeah. I, 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 thought it was I didn't intentional. intend to do that. I, I was like, was oh, fuck, it did come across like yeah. that. So I didn't mean for that. So I hope it didn't hurt you. No, you didn't hurt my feelings. I'm just like, oh, fucking, I've heard this. Son of a bitch. Times. I did not mean for that. And I was like, why? An Evelina like, theory. Just... Thanks for listening. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Ace Bounty with the 500 bits finally trying to beat Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ooh. I'm in oh, very fuck, close. Can't to wait to too. finish this three year on and off adventure. Happy to listen to you as I hit the final push. Well, enjoy. Yeah. Uh, my neighbor's the king in that. So, yes, Breath of the Wild is great. Oh, really? Yeah. Not Sarah's not the, that she'd be a queen, but Sarah's roommate is all like oh. their whole house is voice actors just like ours. So yeah, yes, yeah. one of them is the king. That's uh, awesome. Also, the voice of Brock I really and Pokemon. Like, I really like the king's voice a lot. It's quite yeah, good. no, that uh, Bill Rogers. I was, Check I him was, out on Twitter. I was I was really impressed about how he delivered the name, like how he actually delivered the full king's Rome. name, because it's mm -hmm. yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyway, I will tell him you said that. He will appreciate it. Yeah, no, his I, diction. Like, tell him I said hi. He knows who I am, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, you're New York boys. It's such a specific thing, but his diction in that role was actually like, God, it's crisp. I'm like, it's such a good delivery. Jesus. Yep. Uh, All right. One more real quick. White Fang with 100 bits. Can we have a channel point redeem where it's a sound clip of Goblin? I have too many points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can, can we do, do that? Like, do they let you redeem a sound clip? No. Uh, but yeah. No, no. no you, you can. I thought you that's can, new. Don't can, they let you do that now? You can set up something that... Uh, I'm not sure if it's built into the channel point system, but there I've I've seen people I know it's for do bits crazy because people do that all the time. Yeah, the, the, I've the, I've seen people do crazy things with channel points. I'm gonna have to look like into that. Channel channel points does not Listen, I cannot much. I cannot make Goblin do anything. No, but you just have to take the meow out of one of the recordings that they interrupt. You just yeah, have to do I still it for uh, I, I still just waiting for the right moment. I still also don't want to have sound going off in the middle of like, that is you know. Totally yeah, fair. fair. If anything, that, remember when we first I started can't believe my father's alive. Do you remember like when we first started doing this campaign? Well, how was I? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mossy's yeah. gonna kill you, Connor. <laughs> that was really loud. Yep. <laughs> Good thing we're not playing Resident anyway, Evil Eight. All right. Back to you, Monty. <laughs> get back to it. Also, White Fang is the last one, Connor, for bits. Gotcha. Thank you. So, all of you guys gather together. Shadow was yours guys' day. Uh, uh, relatively uneventful. Ask me, Anders. Enlightening. <laughs> to ask me, Anders, and there's a giant fucking like chunk of ice around his neck. Can I just say, I imagine in a joking sense, it's like his entire size. It's just this giant ice <laughs> just trying giant to carry around. <laughs> I just imagine it's just an ice block with legs. <laughs> Iceberg. It's pretty small. It's the size of a marble. 
Pass doesn't say anything. He's just like he's just like happily vacant. Task. No you, response. You there. I wave a hand in front of his eyes. Wow, Vin. Huh. Hi. Yes, I'm, hey. I'm here. Someone cast a spell on you? Yes, and now you're mine. In a figurative sense, yes. Hmm. Well, say, what's, what's that What's that thing you've got around your neck there? Oh. um, What's that? Oh, what's the common word for it again? He, like, snaps his fingers trying to think about it, and then he, like, bites his lip. He, like, bites his knuckle. Oh, right. The thing that Doros was when he told me. Well, told me is a relative term, but uh, I believe the common word is engagement. What? You have an engagement? What? Uh, but I, I, well, Doros had an Who's engagement. The enemy? No, engagement ring. That I believe that's what it was. Oh, you're engaged. Guys, come on. Like, <sighs> what, what, what was your, what, what, to who? Winter. Why? <laughs> what? Rickles, Rickles Wait, slaps him. What? <laughs> oh right, the whole thing. Oh, the whole so thing. I take with it them. back. Uh -oh. I cast level two shatter on Borky. What? No, no, no. She's Borky. I'm doing a bit, you guys. <laughs> All right. Oh, I thought Juice was. Oh. I didn't know Cobalt could be with other color Cobalt. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's a defeatist that sort of attitude. Is a, Borky just kind of Borky, just, Borky of just holds up his shoulders wow. and hands like, "Guess I'll die then." I didn't. I, I, <laughs> Task holds. Task firmly, firmly wow. holds his hand up like he's like he looks like he's about to hit Borky, but just like pats him playfully on the side. It, that's the weirder bit. It's like he's not mad. <laughs> well, shit, dude! Congratulations. Wins. Wins. Other color cobalt. When's the ceremony? Uh, is there a ceremony? Ta yeah. Tash just like, his ears were up the whole time. The moment he says that, he's just like, oh, right, ceremony. Oh, fuck. Like, his ears just like drop down, just like, and his eyes widen, just like what? the realization. What hey, even are buddy. the. Go for it. Sorry. Sorry. What even are the rituals for kobold weddings? I mean, do you even get married? Is it a whole different thing? Or Well, I mean, we kind of already have done it. I gave her. A... What? Oh. <laughs> Did Bucky. I pass out? Task is married already? Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I'm such so a time all the time. So you're dude. married? I, I guess in the I in the human sense, I mean, I've only just gotten to the part where I believe uh, if if Doros and Willow were like Is this a prank, Task? No, I she gave me this, and I gave her the dagger from the elemental plane we obtained, and we traded it as a token of our appreciation for each other. Task, you're gonna say something about Doros and Willow? No, he, he was like, he was comparing, like, he's he's not unsure how to say it, but he's like trying to remember, oh, right, Doros and Willow giving a ring was the means to do it, so he's like using that as a jumping point to be like, ah, so. In a way, like giving ring, like giving a ring to the person you love, it's for Cobalt is giving a very precious item to each other mm -hmm. in exchange. Okay, sorry, I just didn't know if there was another train of thought there. I didn't. Oh no, no, he was jumping off a train of thought because he didn't know how to explain it in human terms. Yeah, the rest of you guys do see the ice. It is a very small, very nice, simple trinket, and it definitely appears to be magical. It doesn't do anything functionally, but it cannot melt by any means. Is it actually cold? It is. It's cold to the touch. It feels like an ice cube. Yeah, okay. Wow. So does wild. that congratulations? That, so does that mean she's like moving into your to the sweet tavern? No, I was kind of thinking about something else. You know how I've been going on and off about that zoo idea? Oh yeah. Yeah. Perhaps making that a business or even a own personal home. I mean, that would make sense. You'd want to be close to all the animals you take care of. But huh. that also leads to a whole bunch of other issues concerning the fact that I live here. Oh, it's just... 
Despite the fact that I'm just so happy, I didn't realize this would all come at me so fast. Well, hang on, hold on, hold on. So, hey, hey, panic, panic, panic. If, as you know, I can be quite eloquent sometimes. May I put it in a way? I think my best encapsulate this moment. Give it to a straight, Borky. We sleep here. Borky points down. We live here. Borky just gestures all around. Kind of the city almost. You know. I suppose yeah. that makes sense, yes. It's not like I'm actually physically leaving the entire city. Well, Wait, hey. Is Remy here? Yes. Yeah. I was here. I, I, well, he's just smiling. Cass, 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 <laughs> like, like, after all of this saying this out loud, Cass, like, fi it finally hits him just like, oh, fuck, what does he have to say about this? And they slowly turn, Tass slowly turns to Remy. Remy is imagine. leaning up against the bar, watching how ecstatic you are, and you can... As much as a beak could smile, you will see a smile on his beak. Well, you guys are walking right now. You're not at the tavern. Never so. mind. He's walking ah, well. against the, the bar, is moving up with him as he's leaning. <laughs> I am walking, in, uh, so the 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 model actually froze. So it looks like he's leaning against something, but he's just walking. <laughs> he's he's lagging, to a wall. Just, yeah. <laughs> so same thing, but with the smile, but walking. Oh yes, he's just Alabama. listening. Yep. I hate to I hate to hurry us along, but yep. that's yeah, fair. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. We'll have, uh, we'll have a talk, Zito, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have, yeah, we have yeah, yeah. plenty of time. Um, but you guys make your way to a general goods store that you were aware of in the middle crafting district, and you make your way inside. There, you guys wish to buy some more mundane objects. Uh, inside, you see a uh, this is a pretty, pretty popular, very large general store. They sell everything that is available for the standard price. Excuse me. Uh, a dwarf kind of steps up. Young dwarf, ha hair in a tight, tight bun, very tan face, sunburnt on the nose. She goes, hi, how can I help you? And looking at your guys' lists, let me grab the player's handbook. Get out of my way, T-Rex. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh, where's my player's handbook? Just punch oh. Theropod out of the way. <laughs> Get out of my way, Theropod. <laughs> I mean, that, that is the appropriate oh. response to have when Theropod's in your way. I mean, just... Shut um, up. Yeah, speak there, for me. What? Hey, y'all. You don't speak for me. All right. So... No, I speak for normal people. Let's quickly go through here. We'll start with you, Greckles. You wanted oh. some parchment. Uh-huh. All right. So for some parchment, how many sheets do you want? Uh, let's just go with a flat... You know, let's go with 10. 10? Okay, that'll be in total 10 gold. Okie dokie, minus 10. Just doing this little by a little. Four, six, four, no worries. Okie dokie. Uh, okay. Task, while I have you here, you wanted some bear traps? Hell yeah. Let me see if I can just... Oh shit, it. Monty, can you get a discount on those? What? God, bear traps. God damn it. Oh. Uh, hunting traps <laughs> are 50 gold pieces each, but don't forget that they weigh a lot. Uh, I was only thinking of grabbing two. How does that feel yeah, for you that fair so that's gonna be 100 gold pieces sick all right two hunting traps uh panic yeah your stuff you're gonna have to get from a magical store unfortunately none of the stuff here that's fair fair enough yeah. uh greckles you want to kill drops actually uh, uh -huh. if if i can make a, a last minute addition does she have any ball bearings Yes, absolutely. She has ball bearings. Bags of a I'll thousand. Pick up some of those. Ten, uh, bags of a thousand are ten gold pieces each. So how many would you like? Done. Just one. Just one. Just bag one. Of a thousand. All right. I think ball I only bearings. need one thousand ball bearings. <laughs> you sure you don't want three thousand? Meticulously count good. every single one. Uh, going back down the list. Rations have to get somewhere else. Uh, Caltrops mm -hmm. for you. Uh. Bags of 20 are 10 gold pieces each as well. How many would you like? Was it one bag equals one five-foot space? Yeah, one bag equals one five-foot space. That's how we rule uh, it for this. I've got six. Uh, You said 10, e uh, 10 gold each or? Yeah, 10 gold for a bag of 20. Okay, so let me get... Uh, Let me get six more, I think. Okay, 60 gold pieces there. Okay. You will definitely have to keep some of these in the the hole or the bag of holding, just because they are relatively heavy. Right. You've got big, just big bags of pointy things. Big bags um, of 
that's it for task. Everything else has to go elsewhere. Uh, all right, so we'll just go through here. Antitoxins, that's a potion, unfortunately, and crowbar. A crowbar, which I believe you broke. Hey, uh, a crowbar? Is you broke it! it. Actually, no, I didn't. True. Dude, he was such an underrated performer in WCW. I don't Damn know it. what that means, and Bosco, please stop talking. Um, a crowbar <laughs> is 20 gold pieces. Cool, got it. Okay, you guys got make him. your way to... You guys make your way to a butcher, um, specifically a ration maker. Um, younger halfling couple. You've been here occasionally. Um, they have really good individually wrapped rations that are pretty good for the stomach. Uh, how many rations would everyone else want? Also, Borky, I never got a list from you. Is there anything else you want to get general supply-wise? Just n nothing general supply-wise, no. Okay. Uh, <coughs> I, need, I need seven. I'd like to have a flat two weeks worth. You want seven rations? Okay. That will cost uh, seven times. Oh my god. Uh, 45 gold pieces for that. Okay. Good, good. These are really good rations, too. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, anybody else want to buy any rations? Yeah, I'll take 12. Uh, 12? Okay. Uh, 12 rations will be. Sorry. Uh, 60 gold pieces. All right. Anyone else want any rations? I think I'm good, actually. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I was, oh, I was, fuck. I already have I five ball gonna, bearings. I was probably going to ask uh, Mr. Borpington to make Borkies a bunch of sandwiches. Rations are different than normal food because rations are non-perishable, so they're just traveling food, essentially. Okay. Yeah. All right, that I believe leaves the mundane items. So, where do you guys go for the magical items? It's been a while, lads. What place uh, shall we go? Don't forget, well, you also it... have Willow's shop. It's not free, but she could sell you guys stuff as well. Oh, sure. So, you have several options. <clears throat> She's more of a potion well, person, though. Yeah. Hmm. Is she just so just above game? Is she tapped out on healing potions? Like no, she was tapped oh. up on free ones, not for sale. Gotcha. She can't just give you guys free healing potions because she needs to survive. Yeah, um, no, so it's fair, but you do get free ones as a part of her being one of your employees, essentially. So you get free supply of potions. I wouldn't mind just above game. I wouldn't mind hitting up a shop uh, for potions. We, do we, we want to do that at the end or at the beginning? I would say the beginning. Mm, good point. Maybe at the end, because we don't know what magical items we're going to run into. Yeah. Hmm. Well, how about this? How about we head over to Widow's shop at the end, but we, we circle around uh, that way. Borky <laughs> doesn't know which way he's pointing. <laughs> no, no, that's uh, that's 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 fair. I, I figured we'd go back to the, uh, you know, that uh, secret place, Shifty Eyes, Shifty Eyes. The bizarre. Oh, yeah. It's not that, it's not that much, you know. It's normal. I think it's pretty bizarre, actually. Uh, uh, okay. Let's try to take us, here. take us away, please. All right. So you guys make your way to the secret fountain that you know leads to the EOS assembly or the EOS square, as it's sometimes known as. Does anybody remember the secret password to get in? Okay, who has uh, it? it is, it is in my notes. Hang on. Those are Prince Division notes. Right, come on. Hang on. Hang on. Don't worry. Uh, if someone else wants to chime in before I open up no, my okay. notes, I don't have it. Free. So no, please, I don't have it either. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, oh my god. Okay, hang, hang on. on. This is Quite nobody bad. tell them either. This is the thing. Like, no Dang. one likes Shahal. And if you guys didn't write down the passcode. Fuck. Yeah, no, I don't got it. That's the one thing I didn't fucking write down. Holy shit. Uh, hang on. We didn't no. write down a secret password. How could... What What were we... Uh, I'm just... Hmm. <laughs> Hang I'm on. just imagining this intense... Sorry, I'm looking. 
Like every time. Every when time. did we? When did we first discover? If you could help me, just so I can locate it. In it was my right before. It, it was right before we went to the elemental plane. Yeah, you guys went there with Seika. It was right. Really? Yeah. yeah. God. I feel like it was earlier than that. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, we're not going because I don't fucking got I have, I, I have, I can't remember the context. Yawning bird, high arcane dish. Okay, so that was the high arcane. Ask for a cattail and a rose. There you go. You guys are good. Greckles has it. Yay. We can try that was saying, close. We can try saying bedlock next, but you know. You need to remember the code words for secret locations. It's Ask important. For, Ask for yeah. a cattail. All right. Yeah, there it oh. is. It's just got my notes are just a mess. <laughs> All right. So, Greckles, as you approach the statue, mm -hmm. what do you say? I'd like a cattail and a rose. You watch as the mouth <laughs> opens up, and you can see the inner space of this fantastical, magical bazaar. Ah! <laughs> oh, this place is fun. <laughs> What, and as what, you guys, what oddities do we see today? Similar to the last time you were you were here. Uh, you see many people selling see? stuff. You currently see uh, riding on top of a flying carpet a rather well-off looking wizard currently. Uh, what appears to be buying some components that's being poured into pouches and given to him. Some iron dust as well as some diamond dust and other such things. You Squadron. see... The very different shops and stalls, and in the far-off distance, you see the sort of alleyway that doesn't quite fit the space uh, in the far-off distance that you guys remember visiting. No Loxodons. No Babar people? Yeah. No, uh, no Babars. No, I want the Babars. Well, I guess we should start looking around. Uh, maybe some of the larger shops. Yeah, we had that elven feller that uh, yes. had the magic items that was a huge prank. But, yeah, he wasn't the best, was he? Oh, I mean, uh, on, let's on. try. Hi, oh, 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 oh. Pa pa no, panic, panic, panic now. Uh -huh. we, mm -hmm. have the art we have the article correct. Borky bobs his eyebrows. The, the, uh, the, uh, the jewel? Oh, oh. N I think... We we need like a jeweler. Is there a jeweler down here that can? Ah, uh, go ahead and roll a perception check. I would assume there's a magical jeweler here. Here I go again. A literal shark mine just comes up out of the side of the alleyway. Uh, that's an eighteen. I'm trying to roll mine. It's taking a second. I believe in you. Perception. <laughs> as you guys are walking looking for a jeweler uh borky like walks through like you know when there's like a grill and like the smoke hits your face it's like that but it's like magical gusts of something <laughs> ah just borky just sees stuff ah! i should have done that ah you you see into the ethereal realm and you see all the different spirits and specters and creatures and for a brief moment a dreadnought. Like split second oh, an astral Jesus. dreadnought. No! <laughs> no, no, no. Just this hanging is, out. This is just, 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 just Gonzo. It's, just, it's a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I said actually, it's an astral dreadnought. It's just at the free coffee place, just holding like a really small little cup of coffee that it got. And it's big old crab claw. I, I imagine yeah. a war warhammer dreadnought trying to pour, just try stir the teacup just with a with a little spoon. Uh... You do find a jeweler. Uh, it appears to be a specific place where they grind up gems and cut up gems for components. Um, the person manning it appears to be a uh, dragonborn, a silver dragonborn woman, uh, who oh. kind of lo looks up at you as you approach. Uh, hello, greetings. Yeah. Great greetings. Uh, we are, we are, we are people here. And Borky nods like that is great information. You watch as they kind of like narrow their eyes and kind of look towards you, and they kind of nod and go, "Ah, oh, I know of you." Uh, wait, which? Wh should I Both apologize? Of you. She kind of looks a little perplexed. 
apologies for helping the city from the dragon onslaught as well as other threats. I wouldn't see why you would need to apologize. Oh! Remember, Borky, we're heroes. Then I'm not sorry, the... Borky says. We have the medals to... <laughs> we have the medals to prove it. And the ears of Lady Sully Andrus, who's a rather intriguing subject of conversation as of late. How can I assist you? Well, I was... In our adventures, I happened across a rather uh, interesting pa pa site. Pa pa panic, but we, we, mm. we said I a couple too many times there, Panic. Both just sort of, are. he just sort of closes his eyes and his mouth and sort of bows his head down. We came across a rather uh, intriguing thing. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a way, uh, like a back room that's away from prying eyes. It is quite the, um, quite the spectacle. We are, we are you we are, are in the. You're in the Eos Assembly. There are no thieves here. <laughs> well. Okay. Uh, if you're that confident, then... <laughs> okay. <laughs> she literally looks over and you see a mound, like a barrel filled with diamond dust behind her and she looks back at you. Oh. Um, well, I suppose this site wouldn't be... Yeah, but Jem's not diamonds anymore. It's just dust now. <laughs> it's still valuable, though. Oh, really? It's... Yeah, it's how I got Greckles and Remy out of their uh, magical stupors. I blew dust in their eyes. Oh. Yeah, it, it hurt a little bit. But, uh, well, you needed to snap the fuck out. But yes, ma'am, anyways. Uh, I am going to reach into my, my portable hole and pull <laughs> out the now marked down, I believe it was 45,000 gold. Yeah, you lost uh, $500 worth. Yes. Uh, yeah, the diamond. You wish for this to be cut down into several usable shapes. Um, how large? So basically just for her asking, she's like, what size shapes would you want? Would you like any of it ground into diamond dust for you? So she can, she can basically separate this into however many parts you want. Kind of like, you know, dissecting an animal, sorry. Like, you know, if you want specific cuts. Let me just, I'm sorry, I'm reading my spells here. Uh... So, I am the utilizer of greater restoration. Uh, so maybe f either three or four hundred golds worth of diamond dust would be fantastic for me. Uh, and also, I would like maybe th three diamonds worth five hundred gold pieces. Okay. This will cost a fee. Fair enough. Uh, you would like one, you would like, so just for separation, how much diamond dust worth do you have to use for a restoration? Full, I have to use 100 for diamond dust. That's gonna be seven conversions then. All right. So for a 100% success rate conversion, uh, it's 100 gold pieces per conversion. So in total, it would, be pieces. it would be 700 gold pieces total to guarantee you get exactly what you want. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you pay her 700? Yeah, let me just, uh, I need to get out a calculator to calculate my gold amount now here. As you do that, you watch as she takes the diamond and begins to separate it with just like, she literally takes a kitchen knife and cuts it like an orange, but it's clearly magical in nature. And she oh, does shit. these really refined cuts to this diamond. And then she takes what is supposed to be your diamond dust and puts it in a Morton pestle, like a very large Morton pestle. And you watch as she begins to grind it and then she stops, like she lifts her hand off of the Morton pestle and it keeps grinding without her. And she kind of turns back over and she goes, you can pick this up when you're done shopping. We will be open until nighttime or when the clock, and she points to a large clock, hits 9 p.m., but you have plenty of time. I appreciate that. Thank you. Certainly. Your your uh, your services will be a great benefit to us in the future. My services always are. And she smiles. Oh, she Give her a smile back. A giant gemstone wasn't that impressive then. 
I mean, she's got a big barrel full of diamond dust. I'm sure she's seen. I know. I was all also, excited to see the jaws. That's a sharp ass knife. knife. Well, also, we're in a it away. All bad. Also, all day. Also, I know. I know, big guy. It was it, it was impressive to us, and we'll always have that. Memory. No, I wanted but to I mean, see. Like, I wanted it to start a war. So I don't know. I don't know what I wanted. <laughs> but we're uh, Borky. We're Bork, already involved in a war. Come on. Bork, Bork, Borky, I know. I Borky, know. We, I don't, just... we don't need to flex any further on this poor town. I mean, we're in a pocket dimension right now. They're not poor. You know I mean. They're not poor. They're very rich. They have a whole barrel of I diamond mean, dust. I'm, I'm just saying, after everything this city has seen, I don't think anything that we could bring to the table is really anything out of the ordinary. No, I well, wish. This would perhaps one something. thing, but I, I don't want to do Treckles that. Treckles points to catharsis. That's what I was referring to. Y you know, these... Yeah. Uh, Monty. Hi. Uh, Task would like to look for those items, like at least something that would seem like it sells what he was looking for. Uh, you would probably want to go the Twisted Oak Staff. Very well. Well, gentlemen, if it's all the same to you, there might be a few little trinkets I'd like to pick up. Anyone need anything from the Oaken Staff? Oh, I'm always interested I... in what they have in stock. I could do with some magical trinkets myself. I don't think I have any... I don't think I'm attuned to anything, honestly. Mm. Well, No, let's I don't think I then. am. Let's be off then, and we'll. I guess we'll head over there. All right, you guys head over to the Twisted Oaken staff. Uh, also, it wasn't an elf, it was a human who ran this shop. Um, ah, you mm, know, know them elves. Hoity-toity. Not everyone uh, who's smug is an elf. Sometimes it's just people are like that. Sometimes uh, elves are dads. They are. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes they're not. All right. So you guys enter the establishment of the Twisted Oak Staff. What's this song? Yeah, this works. You guys can hear it okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Chill. It's a little quiet on my end, but I turned it all the way up. Let me know, chat, if it's uh, too quiet or too loud. Uh, I guess I'll he head on in. Okay. They're saying it's good. They're saying it's good. As you guys enter inside, there's a little chime above the door that ting, ding ding, and you enter inside and you see behind the counter those ever shifting boxes, like still like shh, shh, they all kind of move in rapid succession like a Rubik's cube, and suddenly just all slot perfectly flat in the back of the store. Mm -hmm. um, there's quite a few things here now. Um, last time you were here, it was pretty barren. Uh, this time around, there are some more things that are in supply. Oh, we're window shopping. Do tell. Or well, are they not? Are they not labeled? I, Let me I, grab I, my book. Oh, I was about to say, Tass was gonna go up to the guy and ask about something specific. I gotta pull them out. Okay. Da, 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 get it, go get them. Get them. Hold on a second. I mean, it was more than last time. I'm not saying it's a ton, but oh, yeah, sure. yeah. Potion seller. <laughs> potion seller. We're not there. Bring me your finest potion. I have your finest potion. Not that. My potions are too strong right. for you, traveler. <laughs> not that. This hurts to be too hard. We are going to <laughs> we are going to fight an Orin. And I need only your All strongest right. potions. <laughs> One sec, I, I gotta organize these in their rarity. Why? No, it's fine, Orin. it's fine. Potion seller, the gazebo is a front of us. Please. <clears throat> My favorite moment so, in as you guys look, uh, no sword. The sword's gone. Oh. Don't. You know that was a special order. Specifically, yeah. it was yeah. meant to be sent somewhere specific. So. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I gotta grab my magical item calculator. So Dr. Villain wields it in the end, I'm gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> you see a great... 
deal of things. A lot of small things, um, specifically, under the, what you assume is glass, but this is a pretty magical shop. It's probably not just glass. Mm. All right. Uh, not this. What happened to my thing? I don't know. We're in such anticipation. I don't know. Right. Okay. All right. I think. Oh, should tell the gazebo is dire, please. <laughs> <laughs> A dire gazebo. I want that to be a monster now. Oh, please. It's, it's, there's so many. I have so many of those. You have dire gazebos? Yeah, of course I fucking do. Why wouldn't I? Uh... Oh, fuck. No, go away, Pinterest. I don't. Ah! It's okay, Monty. Everyone in chat, tell Monty it's okay. Apparently, it's in the Dungeon Master Guide, but it doesn't tell me what page. Oh, <laughs> because you because you can't fuck because there's no glossary or anything. I know for it. the glossary. What are you looking for? It's so bad. Hold on, I have the what image. I'm for? just gonna grab. It's a screenshot. I got a screenshot of it. Okay. All right, we're good. So, uh, you see uh, a few things. Oh wait, there was one more thing I forgot. Hold on. Uh, oh no! Potion seller, it's here. Potion seller, please. I did. I missed actually a few things. There, that sword is gone, but there is another one. Oh, Ooh. another sword. And it looks really expensive. Uh, and this sword. is a big one. So in total, uh, there are 14 objects Ooh, that you can, you can kind of see. Um, a lot of it's just like mundane things, but uh, as you guys are standing there and enter inside, you hear the sound of footsteps as again approaching is the haughty but very serious uh, I believe his name was Thurmond Sorbragus, is what his name was. It was Thurmond. And he Thurmond. descends down, currently just like with his hand idly twitching. You see his tea is being stirred as he steps down. And he stops when he sees you and goes, Oh, you. And he kind of makes the way all the way down and steps behind the counter. Yeah, it's us, unfortunately. Oh, not unfortunately. You spent a good deal of money last time, and I must have found your company rather entertaining. That's nice. Hmm. Well, let's just say... You know, I'm going to strike that. Never mind. <laughs> well, <laughs> we've come across some money. We'd like to see your wares today. Curses! I was trying to prevent that! <laughs> no, and he explodes you with like a... 90th level fireball. No. Oh my god. Look, Silence, I brand. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't want to give away the fact that we're rolling in with heavy wallets. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I have quite a few items on for sale of varying rarities. I must say the sword is not for sale, and he puts a hand back. Uh, anyone who wants to can either roll a religion check or an arcana check on that sword. I will roll an arcana. Yeah, am, am dumb on am dumb on magic, but here go anyway. 15. 23. No, am dumb on magic though. Uh panic. Mm -hmm. And actually Greckles would know this because you've been spending time with, with uh some of the clergy. Mm -hmm. This is a holy avenger. Oh holy fuck. Cool. On your this left. This is tab. a very sacred paladin weapon. Uh and notably, there is a small tag on it, and it is stored behind a glass case in the back of the store. Again, this guy doesn't fuck around. He sells some pretty expensive things. Uh, Monty, I'd like to take a left on Paladin, please. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he sips his tea, and it doesn't. Even, he doesn't even pick up his own tea. It just goes to his mouth, and he just sips it, and he goes, and this is going to Tricadia. Oh, Why? is it now? If you may entertain the question, I am absolutely curious. How much was that? This particular sword? Yes. This one is 500,000 gold pieces. That's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have to be gold? Platinum suffices. Ah, it's more expensive than it doesn't work. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, why don't we keep it a little less, a, a little more grounded? What else do you have? What am I gonna do mm. to make you have that fall off the back of the truck out back? <laughs> <laughs> Just falls into the mud. I suppose it depends on what you're looking for. Hmm. I happen to be looking for any sort of artifact you have that might give the body a little bit more of a stern hold or perhaps a little bit more wisdom for one's mind's eye, a.k.a. anything that gives AC or gives benefits, like, number-wise to wisdom. Okay. He thinks of it and he goes, hmm. And you watch as he turns around uh, and again waves his hand and all those boxes <laughs> shift and move. And you watch as one comes forward, two little tiny wooden boxes, and he takes them places them on the counter and opens them up and you see two rings. Oh. One is a ring of protection. And the other mm. one is a ring of evasion. Oh. Uh, can I, I, I hate to be that guy. Can I get the meta on both of those? Uh, the ring of protection gives you a plus one bonus to AC and all saving throws while wearing it. Cool. The other one has three charges, and it regains 1d3 expended charges daily at dawn. When you fail a dexterity saving throw while wearing it, you can use your reaction to expend one spell of the charge to succeed instead. I like the first one. How much is the first one? The first one is... I got low AC. That sounds nice. Uh, the first one is 35,000 gold pieces. 35,000. Okay. Ooh. It's mm. a rare object. Yeah, and, and I don't know how much actually buying real estate for the zoo is going to be, so unfortunately, I'm out. I blew my savings on my place, dude, and now I have all the new money for this new quest. I'm like, oh, thank God. The Ring of Evasion is very expensive. Uh, it's 45000 oh, I just couldn't even afford that one, so yeah. Ooh. Ooh, hmm. Wait a second. Mm. Hmm. Uh -huh. Would would any magic or not magic, but like would any like objects that are that we have like treasure wise would sweeten the deal? Uh he's only interested in magical items specifically. He only okay. sells and purchases them. So he bought um Greckles' uh venom mm -hmm. dagger because it was a magical item. Yeah. Well sadly, like I said, if I want to you know, nest egg myself for the zoo. This can't happen, unfortunately. Thanks, though. Mm. You need so much land. I just needed a hole. I just needed a hole in the wall. Also, for estimation for the zoo, the land alone is going to be about twelve thousand gold pieces. Yeah. Because right. you want a big plot of land. You need a big well, plot yeah, of land. Yeah, I want. Well, I need the land, and I also need like the upkeep of the people. So I think like all my money that I have is just going directly to that. I do have two other rings, if they interest you. I would enjoy a look. You watch as he goes, and there's more shuffling, and he pulls out two more rings. Uh, a smaller yet prettier kind of gold band. It looks like it can actually go through two fingers. And then another ring that appears to be like a mirror that is on the ring. Notably, this one looks very expensive and is in a gold box, the one with the mirror. Oh, please tell me about these two. This one is a ring of spell storing. Mm -hmm. And this rather lovely piece is a ring of spell turning. I have someone who's interested in it, so it is a rather expensive item. How uh, how expensive are we talking? This one is 450,000 gold pieces. Mm. Oh, fuck me. Fair. Yeah, this is a ring of spell turning. So the ring of spell storing. Um, this ring stores spells cast into it, holding them until the attuned wearer uses them. The ring can store up to five levels worth of spells at a time. When found, it contains 1d6 minus one levels, blah, 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 blah. Basically, it can store up five spells. And, um, yeah. This one, the ring of spell storing is, is 28,000 gold pieces. The ring of spell turning. While wearing this ring, you have advantage on saving throws against any spell that targets only you, not in a area of effect. In addition, if you roll a 20 for the save and the spell is 7th level or lower, the spell has no effect on you and instead targets the caster using the spell slot level. Spell save DC, attack bonus, and spell casting ability of the caster. Dang. 
So it basically is a is a basically mirrors back magic. Parry this, All you right. fucking casual. <laughs> <laughs> and that was only for twenty eight. Damn. No, this one. That one's the four hundred and fifty thousand one. This oh, is a legendary uh, ring. Yeah. The okay. ring of spell storing is twenty eight thousand because it's a bit right, more. Right, but that's still pretty fucking good. Yeah, it's pretty wild. <laughs> I mean, you have advantage on any individual targeted spell permanently. Hmm. Hmm. It has been some time since we were in here last. What sort of new goods would you have? Apologies for non-specifics. It's just, it's always such a joy to come in here. Hmm. He watches, he kind of leans his head back and cranes it back. He goes, the thing is, when it comes to you, he looks at all of you, your adventuring swords, hero swords, which is admirable. I mostly deal with private collectors and archmages in my trade. I don't particularly know what would suit you. Um, hmm. Well, how about this I then? I'll, I'll make this specific. Something to make me more dexterous, more sneaky, or the ability to take on the appearances of other people. It's funny that... There's been a consistent shortage of disguise hats and whatnot, especially in the city. He kind of cocks I his it. head. I, I cast message on Greckles, and we know why. Yeah. If, if birds could sweat. Sneaky. Hmm. Sneaky. I have two things that could work for you. He pulls out, uh, again, the back shuffles. He pulls out a longer box and flips open and you see some goggles inside with a owl-like beak between the two lenses. Hmm. And the other one he pulls out is a almost gold inlay pouch. This, and he holds up the goggles. These are goggles of night. They would give you dark vision if you're sneaking around in the dark. And this is dust of sneezing and choking. You can throw it, and it makes them cough uncontrollably, if they breathe, of course. Uh, is that dust a one-use a one item? Uh, I'm just reading it. Uh, each creature, when you throw the dust into the air, each creature, it's an indiscriminate, within 30 feet of you, must succeed on a DC 15 constitution saving throw, or become unable to breathe while sneezing uncontrollably. A creature affected in this way is incapacitated and suffocating. As long as it is conscious, a creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of its turn, ending the effect on a success. The lesser restoration spell can also end the effect. Um, so it's a one-time use, but it's basically a mm -hmm. giant, like, sneeze bomb. Right. Don't ex excuse me, I'm just gonna steal your lungs. <laughs> And how much for these two, my good man? The goggles of night are 4,000 gold pieces. Oh, that's Ooh. sold immediately. Okay. Put this down. I'm just keeping track. I finally can replace them. <laughs> and the dust of sneezing and choking is 7,500, or sorry, uh, 750 gold pieces. Oh. These are uncommon items, so they're worth a little right. bit less. Yeah. Is this is this a uh, improvised weapon? So it would have like disadvantage to. Throw? Oh, sorry, I got the price incorrect about the. It's a thousand. It's not seven hundred and fifty. Okay. This is a thousand. Apologies, I looked at the wrong graph. All right. Um. I actually have something kind of fun for your friend there, and you watch as he looks at Borky. Oh. Borky's looking at something right now. It's clearly he thinks it's important. Got his hand on his chin. It's clearly not. Hmm. Interesting. It's a taxidermy. It <laughs> go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was about to say it's a taxidermy gator with googly eyes on it. Interesting. <laughs> I was just meant to distract enemies who are charging at the person wearing this. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. <laughs> I've always got no, sorry. Uh, you watch as he brings out a large box, uh, wooden, not as nice, and he opens up the top and pulls out a jug and puts it down in front of you guys. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, well, no. God, well, 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 shopkeeper, what is this you have placed in front of me? Touch this and pick a liquid. Grab oh, grabs no! it, grabs it. Bor Borky thinks. Snake milk. Okay. 
You watch as the <laughs> jug fills up with half an ounce of basic poison. Mm. Get out of here. Borky goes to drink it. <laughs> Make a constitution saving throw. Borky you goes idiot. to. He's about to. He's about to. Like, <laughs> uh, Stop like, immediately. Like, ah, sorry. Sorry. I will sleight of hand that. Okay, should, well, I'm sorry. What, what is this? Borky just kind of pours it out. Like, is there a garbage can? No. <laughs> oh, dang it. The Borky's just like, uh, what? But how is magic obviously put in place? This is an alchemy jug. Alchemy jug, huh? Borky's it make, just. <laughs> it can magically conjure various liquids to a specific amount per day. <gasps> That's she. Oh. What does it look like? I want to see what the jug looks it... like. It looks like a like a vase, like a like a big jug like vase, and there's like several like spouts coming out of it, and they're all corked. But as you uncork the top, you can see inside. You can see the liquid. It's almost like there's a light on the inside that you can see what's been produced. Ooh. It's fairly sizable. It would be kind of clunky to carry around, but but essentially, it, 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 no. But it looks average sized in Borky's hands, though. But, but it could fit yeah. about twelve gallons of water in it for for. For context. 12 count. Mm, wow. Interesting. Oh, oh man. So, so, so <laughs> tell me, an alchemy jug, how much is this? This particular object is 5,000 gold pieces. John and Dunster. Porky pulls out 5,000. Oh. All right. Oh. You, can, you have an alchemy jug. Oh, yes. That is. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, the May abilities are endless. Oh, mames. I don't suppose you would have two of those, would you? Unfortunately not. I only have one. Mm. I don't tend to keep two of any object at any time. Uh, I, I, this makes me so happy. Oh. I, I guess we can see what other, like, small things he has. Like, I, I'd like to see, like, do we have, like, a, the whole list of what he has available? Uh, sure, yeah. I mean... His his the most expensive objects are the Holy Avenger, a hundred percent. Right. The other thing he has, which is really strange and is really expensive, is Universal Solvent. What? Ooh. <laughs> silly putty? No, the opposite. It's the unsilly putty. Yeah, it's, oh. the, it's the silly putty. It's the silly putty you can't get off. <laughs> oh fuck. That's not no. That's not the, the solvent is what no, gets the, solvent. the I'm sorry, gets it, gets sovereign it sorry, glue is me. the permanent glue. This is right, what gets sorry. rid of sovereign glue. Yeah, right. My bad. My bad. Fun you putty. watch as he it's it's like a little tiny vial, and he literally like holds it up and he goes, "Desperation makes objects like this worth more than usual." He sets it aside, but I take it you have no use for it unless anyone has unfortunately been glued to something. I look at the alchemy jug. <laughs> I look back at him. I uh, don't. I I don't think you can make you know. I don't. I don't think you can make that sovereign glue stuff with the alchemy jug. No. No. I was. No. I was thinking of something <clears throat> else. Panic. So. If you wish to make a liquid with the alchemy jug, you can make. You can make acid, basic poison, beer, honey, mayonnaise, oil, vinegar, fresh water, salt water, and wine. And the wine is. Rather cheap. Hmm. All right. Well, what else do you have then? Hmm. I have a cape. Perhaps that would interest oh. you. Oh. And he pulls out a cape, which is the cape of the mountebank. Ah. Gazoon, gazoon tight. Basically, it lets you cast a uh, dimension door. Oh. <laughs> How much? This one is 11,000 gold pieces. It is a rare object. Man. Mm. Man. Man. What else does he have? I, this is That might dictate my purchase. Oh, do I you might travel be that quite a bit? We do. I. Hmm. This might be of interest to you. And you watch as he pulls out a tiny little statuette of what appears to be a little fortress. No way. This, this is Darren's instant fortress. If you place it on the ground and speak its command word, it will turn into a small fortress tower. 20 feet by 30 feet high. 
Holy man, fucking if you hate shit! Man, if you hate people, that's the best thing. Indeed. Oh, what would happen if you opened it up inside, though? Uh, I'm, I message task. I say, uh, FYI, before you waste money on that, uh, give me some time and I'll be able to do that for free. Hmm. Hmm. Well, my heart might still be on that cape, but what else have you? Not sure if it'd be much of use to you. He brings out a, uh, orb, like a ball, and it looks like, you know, like the rubber band balls? Yes. It looks like that, except for all of the bands are metal. Huh. These are the iron bands of Bellaro. Uh, this is kind of a long thing. Uh, the Arrestrian Iron Spear measures three inches in diameter and weighs one pound. You can use an action to speak the command word and throw the sphere at a huge or smaller creature you can see within 60 feet of you. As the sphere moves through the air, it opens into a tangle of metal bands. Make a ranged attack roll with an attack bonus equal to your dexterity modifier plus your proficiency bonus. On a hit, the target is restrained until you take a bonus action to speak the command word again to release it. Doing so or missing the attack causes the band to contract and become a sphere once more. A creature, including the one restrained, can use this action to make a DC 20 strength check to break the iron brands. On a success, the item is destroyed and the restrained creature is freed. When the check fails, any further attempts made by that creature automatically fail until 24 hours have elapsed. And you think I don't want this? How much? Now I'm going to warn you with this object. If anything has legendary resistance, it will break this. So just a heads up, just going forward, legendary actions will break this because they can- I'm not looking succeed. to use this for legendary things. Okay. It is basically a Pokeball. <laughs> I guess yeah, the best way yeah, to say it. Yeah. Guess. So oh this object oh is- Pokemon. Hi, the guy who's gonna buy a fucking zoo? Just this, this sounds yeah, amazing. This one is 20,000 gold pieces. I think I heard Zito scream, and I assume... Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying, Squidward. I'm, I'm dying because that's half my fucking capital. Oh, what else do you have? Uh... He kind of looks amongst you and goes, none of you are druids, are you? No, no, but no. Mm. I know a druid. Well, perhaps it would be a nice gift for them. He brings out a, what looks to be like a brooch. It's like a wooden brooch that has like an acorn motif with some feathers. And this is Qual's feather token, specifically the tree variant. You basically get a tree. <laughs> like it makes a tree. Uh, you must have yours to use this token. Tree. You can use you can use an action to touch it in an unoccupied space on the ground. The token disappears, and in its place, a non-magical oak tree springs into existence. The tree is 60 feet tall and has 5-foot diameter trunk, and its branches at the top spread out in a 20-foot radius. It's basically a giant tree that you can just make. Money. Power I, I, tree. Money. I have, to, I have to ask this because it will dictate how I fucking move forward. If I buy the fucking Pokeball, mm -hmm. I, will be, I will be left with 22... Uh, 22 500 would that cripple me on the zoo? No. Is you have twelve thousand for the land, making the rest would be a mixture of both money and also alabastian credits at that point. So. Oh my god, give me the Pokeball. <laughs> We're not done yet. There is one more object. Okay, okay. Last object he pulls out, and he's like literally at this point, roll an insight on this guy. How yeah. oh, shit eating is his grin. <laughs> oh wow. Oh come on, seven. Uh, that's a fifteen. It's a 19. Okay. Uh, he rolled a natural one. <laughs> Good. Uh. Yeah, fucked. So, yeah, that sucks. Um, you get the sense that in the same energy of like, hey, look at my Pokemon cards, he's having the same sort of enjoyment just showing you guys all this stuff that he's managed to like <laughs> accumulate. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. your legitimate enthusiasm is probably a little refreshing. Because you get the sense that this guy probably deals with like, you know, stern archmages or, you know, oh, aristocrats. Oh, oh, oh. Someone who walks in, oh, commonwealth items. <laughs> oh, an uncommon magic item. Alchemy junk. It's so <laughs> You mean to tell me you don't have a red lotus? Good day, sir. <laughs> so, this last object uh, is only the base level. So it doesn't have the extra bonuses. It is a crystal ball of scrying. 
Oh, fuck. Oh. Wait. What version? It is just the standard. It just gives you the scrying okay. spell. Yeah, okay. it's it's at the base. So, because I in in the in in the uh, in the breaking and entering one shot, there was a similar item that had a different effect. Oh yeah, um, it did. It sure did. Uh fuck. This was a botched uh, crystal ball. It only does the scrying spell. It does not provide any bonuses. It was sold to me for a minor sum, but it still is worth some money. Turn my head and look over at Remy. Oh, I see what you're doing. I just, uh, you'll I just look. Give, him, give him a look. Uh, Remy will look to the orb, look to him, and shake his head no. Uh, you would gather that he doesn't think that that would work to find him. He 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 nods like a like yeah all right. If it interests you, it's thirty thousand gold pieces. Oh, fuck. <laughs> By the way, kind of check your DMs if you want to have some fun. Do not rob this man; he will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow, I like how she jumps to the worst possible conclusion. You cheated the game, and not only did you put yourself. <laughs> you cheated the game. Now you must. Jokes on him! I know counter spell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hmm. You know, I am very interested in that ring of spell storing you've got there. Hmm. Hmm. You said it was twenty eight thousand. Yes. Could I perhaps talk you down to a lower sum? After all, I do enjoy visiting this fine establishment of yours, and I happen to know uh, quite a few people in the magical community with deep pockets that might uh, be willing to visit your establishment as well. I mean this with the most respect. Whoever you know is paltry compared to the likes of the people that I know. Jesus. Your flattery is appreciated, but will not budge the price. Last time you were here, you did have magical items to exchange. Such a thing would also help in this regard, but flattery will not. If anything, I find it quite insulting. And you watch as he stirs his tea and drinks it. Mm. Fuck you, buddy. I'm not, not a token practical mage. I sell some of the most powerful items discovered on this continent. I have the Roper whip. Yeah, well, I can. I, I can will. I will. Fucking demon. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this: like, this is not like. Obviously, you guys can read it as arrogance. This guy is a hundred percent not fucking with you. Like, he knows people. Like, mm. I'm not joking. This is probably the most high end shop in this place, and you are in basically the highest point place you can be magical item wise. Sure. And you are in like. Uh... No. Okay, I I produced the Roper whip. How much would this knock off? What is that? A whip made from a roper. Does it count as a magical item? Yes, it does. I have it attuned. Okay, it is. It is a magical item. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Here I... Advantage, because he's never seen anything like it before. Fuck yeah, here I go. Here we go. Not bad. 20. Hmm. Mm. Can you read off the effects of it again? That will determine the price. Uh, it was basically a, it was basically a ranged weapon that if they did it, if it was a strength check based on the contender, it would pull the creature towards you. Right. Okay. Hmm. He looks at it and he assesses it. He will, you'll see, you'll even see as he traces his hands over, you see a flash in his eyes. Uh, Panic, you would know this as the identify spell. Yeah. It's a unique piece. I will say I've never had anything like this in my store. I can think of some Durgar nobles who would find this piece rather interesting. I'd be willing to sell it to you for... Hmm... 4,000 gold pieces? 
I unfortunately have had very little use of this, so it is fine by me. Very well. You watch as he taps on the boxes behind him, and it actually, like, slots out a massive box. Like, it just produces a new box. And as he opens it up, it has the perfect formation inside for the Roper Whip. Nice. And he so takes that's it, four grand. And he places it inside, and he hands you a stack of 400 platinum pieces and slides it to you. Excellent. Um, yeah, I'm buying that Pokeball. <laughs> okay. That's 20,000 gold pieces for that. Done and done. Oh. Fun fact, uh, Shampai, uh, our, our, our good boy Obby, actually had one of these, and they never used it, so. Aww. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Um, qu a couple quick questions, Moni. Um, yes. Attunement maximum was two or three? Three. You have three, three okay. total. Um, um, if you're an artificer, you have more, but no one's an artificer, so you sure. all have three. Um, but, did, did Nick and Todd require attunement? Yes, they are Okay, attunement. I figured. Um... I was double checking Sunblade. Sunblade doesn't say anything about attunement. Let me check and see if it is. Yes, please do. It would, well, it Sunblade was like, it's a basic weapon, right? Like, it's not. Hey! It's, a good, it's a good weapon. It's a good weapon, but it's not. I mean, like... it, but it's it's magical in nature, so I'm not really sure. But I'm looking at it right now on roll. It 20. requires attunement. Yes. Hmm. Um, can someone slots. remind me what the name of the Pokeball is technically? It is called the Iron Bands of Bellaro. Uh, G A L A R O. I'm grabbing it for you. Thank you. Billaro. Okay. Yeah. Hell I'm yeah. Close. Man, I'd love to get that cape, but I'm out of slots. Uh, um, also, for those who it might be relevant, this would definitely be a guy to talk to about enchantments because I know some people oh. voiced interest in that as well. Enchantment. Mm. Mm. Why Zito? Dude, we have a shut up. <laughs> Dude, we wait a minute. We have a fucking unused Yeti pelt. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> bruh, I have so many things. <laughs> oh man, uh, no, I, both game. I would, I would absolutely buy that cape if I had slots for it. But after the goggles, which also I believe require a tomb, and I'll be up, I'll be at my three. Uh, the goggles do not. Really. And neither oh. does the cape itself. It is a they're like usable items. They're just like an oh. item you use. Okay, I will buy that cape then. All right, the cape is eleven thousand gold pieces. You have the cape of the mountebank. Done and done. I'll put me back to thirteen one. God, it's good to be rich. <laughs> Must be nice. You guys, you guys did a lot in the elemental planes. Must be nice. Oh, I'm, well, I'm I'm fucking satisfied with what I got. Hell yeah. How short are you on the the, the ring of spell storing panic? I am short six thousand gold pieces. Hey, panic. Yeah. Are you staring at it pretty hard? Uh, yeah. He's he's sort of he's he's sort of looking at it and tapping his chin. For the first time since walking in here, Remy's going to walk forward. Those those rings are on the table, right? Uh, they are. They're behind a glass case at this point. Like, as he's taking out other objects, just to you know, keep them from getting lost in the transactions. But you can see them visibly. Panic, you'll notice him look at the ring of protection. And then he'll look over at the ring of spell storing. And then he's going to look at you. See something you like. As a matter of fact... Yeah. That uh, ring of spell storing could be pretty useful. So what's stopping you? Uh, 6,000 gold. Hmm. So would you say it's... He's going to reach into his pocket about 300 platinum and he'll reach into another pocket 3,000 gold? <laughs> what a flex. All oh, right, I forgot. I can have it converted to Electrum if need be. <laughs> Get out of here, Zito. We don't use that here. <laughs> we don't use that the junk. True, the true <laughs> Connors <goes. laughs> Re oh. Remy is going to smile at panic. The stick has some advantages. Sometimes. <laughs> Apparently. 
Yeah. If you're willing, then you deserve I'd something appreciate nice. it. Get it. Remy says, treat yourself. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Let me have that ring of spell storing. Very well. Also, Master Corbeau, I hope your mother is well. She's quite well. We've got some good news recently. Thank you for oh. asking. Excellent. Okay, so I have a ring of spell storing now? Yep, you sure do. <laughs> Remy fucking walks outside. Did you... Thing. Greckles, did you want the goggles tonight as well? Yes. I've already okay. calculated the uh, money out. All right. Yeah, 4,000. All right, sweet. Say if... So just just to be clear, Remy was giving me like 6,000 gold. Correct. It was 300 platinum and 3,000 gold pieces, which is 6,000 total. Fuck. Right. Uh, say someone wanted to maybe get the piece of armor enchanted. What would theoretically be that? Depends on the enchantment. There are several types. Resistance to an elemental type. Means to make the armor lighter. Means to make it pop on and off. Means to make it uh, well, never I've heard, dirty. I've heard tale from some people uh, that uh, some have their armor enchanted in order to make it appear like anything they would want it to be. Uh, it also grants additional protective benefits on top of that, but that is the main feature of it. I believe it was called something like Glamoured Leather. Is this an actual official thing? Glamour, glamoured Studded Leather is what I'm after. Do you have enough for it? I, I believe Glamour is the thing, yeah. I'm trying to find that out. <laughs> Wait a second. What book? Look, Look. I'm, above I'm game, not, Remy might be loaded, I'm, but above game, my heart is pounding. You're killing me right now. I'm, I'm trying to find out right now. I'm asking him how much it would be. Lamb. Doesn't give me a, a rarity amount. I, I, this is an official thing. It's showing up. I just wish it would tell me what book it was in, so I could look up. Glamour okay. weave cost. Glamour studded leather. Glamour studded leather. Um, oh, okay. It's rare. It is rare, so it's going to be more expensive. Fuck. The enchantments yeah. would require a decent amount of components if you were to procure your own piece of equipment, and given it has no issues with being enchanted, I would put that enchantment... Hmm. I don't believe so. I I sort of shrug off the uh, Arginosis skin coat Mm, dragon flesh is difficult, not impossible. It may lose its properties to be resistant to acid damage. Enchantments oh, don't like to stack very well. Hmm. So I could... I probably can't even let before we get to that, let's hypothetically, let's say how much would would this be? You put down the jacket. It's easier than armor. Metal is hard to enchant. I would put this potentially at ten thousand to eleven thousand gold pieces. I'd take it back and put it back on. <laughs> Hang on, now you got me all curious. Yeah, I was about to say we we I think I have enough to at least split half on it. I have 500 gold. Right. But as long as I have the Alavasian credit and at least 11 to 15 grand, I, I can spot that at least halfway. Uh. If, if, if someone else could split like another, like, I don't know, like, what was it like 11 to 15? You said, Monty? It was uh, 10,000 to 11,000 gold pieces. If it's 10,000, I am willing to split halfway. If someone else could dive in on that too. What did you want? Anyone have 5,000 gold pieces to split? Yeah, what did you want? It's a glamour. It, it turns his armor into glamour, so it could basically turn into look like anything he wants. It also gives me plus one AC. There you go. Can you 
Yeah, you can wear studded leather, right? Yes, you yeah. can. It's it's still light armor. Borky, do you want in on this? I don't know if I want to because the armor I just got, like, I... I mean, to help give Panic some money. <sighs> okay. Yeah, if we can put down the five grand. Like, if you can drop five and I can drop five, we can make okay, this work. Okay, I, I, okay, we can make this work. Borky just goes, one grand, two grand. You watch as the wizard looks at you and goes, I take it he's the martial part of your party. Aye. Mm. Well, he nods mean, knowingly. Does, does that mean I push things? Yes, yes Porky. Yeah. Yeah! The best pushing things. Three grand, four grand, five grand. Yeah, you go. Uh, Appreciate it, big guy. I just, I've never thought I'd have to buy clothes for you. I just never thought that would happen. Well... Uh, you did destroy some of mine, so I think it's only you fair. Won't, uh, yeah, you weren't wearing them, and they weren't that great. This enchantment. Wow. Will take... <laughs> Fuck. All right. This Five enchantment <laughs> will take two weeks to complete. So you must pick up your order when it's done. If you don't come and pick up your order a week afterwards, I will sell it in my shop. That is part of my contract. And you watch as he apparates a piece of paper and slides it towards you. And this, uh, the whole dragon flesh losing its properties upon enchantment, is that a sure thing, or is it only a chance that it will? It is a sure thing. So, eh. acid resistance versus ace, uh, versus an AC bonus, plus it can look like whatever you want. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't think the, I don't think losing... Resistance to acid will matter let me all speak, that much. Let me speak. Yeah, let me speak in meta. Do it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do this. I also would be curious about armor enchantment. I have one of three that I'm looking for specifically. I see. Certainly. One second. Let me just take this down. Sure. You sign here, here. And if you would wish for to have your servant or your um, apprentice to pick this item up, please let me know and give me their name. Scarbles. You're an apprentice? <laughs> you are not letting Scarples in this place. Yeah, Hell would break it. There's no the ground. She'll dig into crazy. oblivion and disappear. <laughs> All right, fine. She'll Kiwi. Dig, gone. She'll dig through the city streets and then just go, ah, and then just like fall forever. Uh, That's going to be what happens. All right, so, so Monty, would you rather we put this evil on Kiwi? I mean, you can. I'll, I'll pick it up myself. What about Log? He'll come back with, like, a bunch of bananas. Uh, I'll pick it up like myself. Utopia. Okay, very well. He takes it and he... The contract isn't anything like, I'm gonna get your soul. It's basically like, I'm doing this enchantment for you. You understand that, basically, you're if you don't pick it up, I can't hold on to it for a very long time. Like, it has to go out, because it takes up space. So. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Also, there is a chance that the enchantment might take longer, depending on whether he succeeds or fails. It's a rare enchantment. He's really good, so you should be okay. But there is always a chance. So I have... Okay. Zeta, did you get yours? Yeah, I got mine. Okay. I, but like, have... I, I, cannot, I cannot bleed any more money for anyone at this point. No, that's what I mean, is you got your enchanted armor? I didn't get enchanted armor. I got the Pokeball. I'm That's I'm the one who was I'm the one who was looking for enchanted. Armor. I was yeah, bird. Was. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll. I am curious. It's an uncommon, uh, but perhaps uh, enchanting my leather armor as a uh, armor of speed. Let me see. Armor of speed. Speed. Let me see that. Where is that? Oh, hang on, this... Hang on. Yeah, it has to be official material. It can't be someone's homebrewed stuff. Okay. Uh, let me see here. No, it's okay. I'm good for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. Darn. It's fine. I, too, have DM'd. Poop. Well, you know what? Never mind. Uh, I don't want to waste any more time. I could always just, you know... Off, off game. Sorry, I thought... 
Man, I thought that was. Official. Yeah, you have I'm to sorry, be. You Molly, have to be bad. careful. No, it's okay. You have to be careful just because homebrew stuff can sometimes leak into other things and whatnot, unless I'm incorrect. Yeah. It's a real thing, but no, it's, I rather it's I'd rather have a goofy. like it say like it is in this book. You can find it here, or it was in this oh, official sure. publication, just so mm. I know it's legit and mm. is at least moderately balanced. Um, last no, one, decanter of endless water. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, in that in, in that case, I'm good, and I can just come back to it later, whatever. Hey, Remy, you seemed like you were kind of. Waiting on the sidelines. Uh, yeah, but I made the. Ch that was the looking between the two rings. I gave panic just enough to get his, which means I can't get mine. It's all good. What were you looking for? Yeah. What oh, the you... ring of protection. I was gonna buy it, but then I'm like, you know what? Mm. Panic. The main character should have the ring. <laughs> God damn it! Wow. You know how to just scum it so well, Bosco. What the fuck? Isn't it annoying? Yeah, it's Is... it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Can I can I catch him looking at the looking at the ring as well? I mean, you you saw him look at it, then look to yours, and then give you the money. Hmm. My good man. Mm -hmm. Not to. I mean this with absolutely no insult. Is there a way that? An item purchased at your shop could be paid off in, like, installments. Mm, that's a good question. I don't think that's how it would work. <laughs> that's not how these guys more shit. <laughs> cash up front or get the fuck out. No, no, no. Bosco, Bosco, let's see where this goes. Oh no, put it on my mother's tab. What the fuck? Put, a, put, a, <laughs> put it on my tab. Let me put it on my mother's that credit card. Doing... Remy, doing that would be the equivalent of like buying like a thousand dollars worth of like Fortnite points on your parents' credit card. On your parents' card. credit card, oh, right. You man. don't do it. That was the joke. Yeah. Like the you just got, bro, you just got like fifty dollars worth of Genshin Impact money. Let's fucking oh, go. Shit, let's go. go. <laughs> uh, oh my mom, God, I really Genshin wanted Impact? the cards. He kind of cocks hmm? his head and goes, For you or for him? And he turns towards Remy. A sort of mo motion towards towards Remy. Remy, roll a persuasion check with advantage for me. Oh Jesus Christ! Do it! I already do got it! My do it! Do oh it! Oh my God! Can I can I give him bardic inspiration before this goes off? No. <sighs> Damn! Here we go. <laughs> Sixteen. It's better than I thought. It's better than I thought. Doesn't beat his roll, unfortunately. Fuck! No. Oh. Unfortunately, while. The Corpo family is a trusted family. I cannot depart with objects that have not been fully paid. Do you take potions? No, I do not. Mm. Would you be interested in something rather unique? Your clientele seems, seems to be of the uh, upper echelon, as you might put it. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm certain someone might be interested in a uh, novelty such as this. Uh, and I'm going to pull out the Frost Poncho. Okay. This bad boy right here on top of Is being this very Frost style. Salamander skin? He like picks it up like slightly disgusted by it like he's picking <laughs> up dirty laundry. Frost Salamander skin, though it may be, this poncho will allow whoever wears it to resist the heat of the elemental plane of fire. He looks at it. Travel amongst the fine, fine people now that the, now that the plane has been liberated. 300 gold pieces. I dropped down four fire arrows. Fire arrows? Are those? Is that with the flame arrow spell, or is that just like actual? No, no. Like, remember, I, I have, I, I purchased these, and then I had duplicate because they're in my magic quiver, and I take them back out, and they're physical items. So I have four fire arrows. Hmm. He kind of looks at them, and he goes, "A hundred gold pieces each for these." How much does he need? It depends. The ring was 30, right? 
Uh, the ring of protection was 35,000. Okay. Wait, guys, we're missing something really fucking huge here. What's up? Uh -huh. We have we have non alavastian platinum, silver, and copper. That's you guys have converted that. I'm just yeah, we did all, we did all the conversion on that. Bop, 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 never mind. No, that was a good that was a good idea, but it's a, guys, it's okay. I don't think we're gonna get there after I we got the one ring. We got one ring. How good? I have one more thing. All right. One, one more thing. thing. One more. Uh, Can we sell all I, the ponchos at that price, Monty, or was that just the one? Because we all had one. I mean, if you want to sell them. I'd kind of like to visit my friends. <laughs> I have no, you don't get to. I pull out one of the clam quarters. Oh, boy. And I open it up for him. He looks at you and looks back up and goes, what is this supposed to be? This. What is this supposed to be? Yeah, it does exactly <laughs> that. And he, like, looks shocked. He's like, huh. Well, that's fascinating. He takes it from you and closes it and opens it and here. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> Can you not reset it? You should be able to. We never uh. determined that. <laughs> well, uh, I have the one with my guitar in it, right? You do, yeah. You have one. You gave I'll, the rest I'll, to I'll, uh, Iggy as well. So you gave Iggy yeah. one to them. I'll, I'll open that one up. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. It plays a song. Oh. Well, that's a bit of a shame that you gave me one that got used. I would probably buy these for a thousand gold pieces each if they're unused. How much do you, uh, how much would you like? How many do you have? Uh, how much do you need, Remy? Uh, like five. I'll sell you five. Unused? Unused. You have a deal. He gives you 5,000 gold for them. I hand it right to Remy. Circle uh, of bro -ship. Welp. Be quiet for just a second. He cracks one open and goes, Welcome to the Twisted Oak Staff. And closes it. Perfect. He walks over to his door, and he actually sets it up on top of his door. You hear, like, some... <laughs> like heavy construction sounds randomly and other things and it he opens the door <laughs> and as it opens the clam opens and goes welcome to the twisted oak staff <laughs> hmm excellent i like that and nobles do so love their mementos i did have something actually hmm? last thing i promise uh what if you were to convert leather armor into mariner's armor Oh, unfortunately, I do lack the specific components to make such a thing. What's required? You would need the shell of a sea beast, specifically a... My pass. His wallet must contain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please be in this book. Where the fuck are you? They're, they're, they're like floaties when you pass out. I love it. Oh, oh, come on. Sorry, one second. That's good. <laughs> what the fuck is it in? Where are my books? Help. I mean, Monty, if it's not possible, it's okay. Yeah, you need to hunt a specific sea creature to get it. Like, okay. it requires, like, a specific sea item. Mm-hmm. I will kill uh, Kraken. Be, DMG 181, Monty. One would be uh one would be a Morkov, and there, there I think there's another one too. Oh my. Yeah. Really high CR creatures, unfortunately. Okay. I will kill Poseidon for you. I will say this. <laughs> I feel uh, like this is a good stopping point for shopping here. You guys sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And as you guys make your way out of the bazaar. You guys leave the Magical Bazaar as well. Pick up your diamond and diamond dust. It is perfectly sized for you, Panic. I got a Come jug. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I take it it's the alchemy drug. Alchemy drugs, yes. Borges yes, we brought it. With, we, that, that was, we that bought was it with you. 500 bitches. Bor Borges didn't <laughs> say the name, but then she took it away from him. So now he's just mad. Now he's just mad now. Sorry, they they know magic. Like this I know, is a really high I know, level but caster. 
<laughs> All right. So you guys gather your materials, make your way towards Willows. And as you guys walk back, uh -oh. a pigeon oh. falls oh. from the sky oh. and slaps in front of you. You hear the sounds of as if someone threw a sack of a leather sack of coins in front of you. I believe you guys nicknamed this pigeon oh, coin purse God, or something. That's right. Oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, currently around, tied around its leg is a letter, a very formal looking letter. And it is, oh my gosh, my brain just stopped working. It is, <sighs> it's on the tip of my tongue. It's written to you. Like it's got the name on it for you. It's designated for you? Designated, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Sure, that works. Addressed to you? Address, thank you. There it is. I was like, Honey, you uh, write uh, letters. I know my brain stopped working. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm too tired. And the pigeon looks something like, kind of coos at you as it sits well, right I, in front of you guys. Well, I will go ahead and take that notice, I suppose. Above game, okay. when it coos, I can just picture Greckles around me being like, ah, cousin, hello. And then I, right. I, lo I look at it, disgust, noticing the coin bulges out of its body. In your inventory, you guys find this. Oh boy. Who, who would like to read it? Sure, I picked it up. Uh, Dear Borky Greckles Task and Panic, Greeting again, uh, greetings again, my heroic and incredibly auspicious quartet of adventurers. I have wonderful news. The Mooncite Circus is coming to perform in Alavast. In fact, by the time this letter reaches you, we may even be right over the horizon. I'm so incredibly excited to see you all again and hear your tales of bravery and grandiose, and to finally perform for you the latest iteration of the Pantaloon Destroyer and or <laughs> Slight Itch Scratcher, depending on your theatrical preferences, the drama, the musical extravaganza. Wait, uh, Monty, uh, these are, like, these are the names of the plays, right? Or am I crazy? Or is it just it's all one It's the name word? of his performance. It's all one thing, so you have to read okay, it all. Okay, it's all one thing. thing. Okay, so let me yeah. do this again. The Pantaloon Destroyer and or Slight Itch Scratcher, depending on your theatrical preference, the drama, the musical extravaganza, Revelations, final, bo final bow edition. I've unfortunately had to, uh, had to do many cuts to the performance, including the spectacular six-hour improvisa improvisational number, mm -hmm. but at the very least... Clay can sit through it, so it's truly more considerable now. Uh, consumable, consumable now, I promise. Yeah. Attached to this letter, I've included eight tickets to your show, uh, so you and a few friends may join in to bask in our magnificent moonlight artistry. Uh, it will be a night uh, we shan't soon forget. Kisses, Victor Quibbles, the rat of the Moonkite Circus. In very plain and rough print. Hi, I hope you're doing... This is in plain print, by the way. Hi, I hope you're doing well. The show is a bit too long. It would bring... Uh, I would bring a book. See you soon. Clay. <laughs> June Ignore the 14th. date. Oh, okay. Ignore the date. That was a mistake. <laughs> okay. So you guys, huh. as you open the letter, there are eight tickets huh. inside to the Moon Kite Circus. Victor Quibbles, huh? It's been a while since we saw Rat. I, I'm sorry. Is this a friend of yours? Ah, it is. Yeah. We met him in, when we were in Tracadia. I thought oh all of you hated my Tracadia. God. No, just the monsters in Tracadia. Oh. oh. No, 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 this is Greg, though. He's coming to town. Oh, my God, I love Rex. Ah, you wouldn't hmm. get it, Remy. You, you, you wouldn't get it. But, oh, my God, Rex the best. <laughs> it's okay, Remy. You're great and all. But, oh, my God, Rex, I love him so much. Again, Remy. Again. You're great. Just leads in on him as every time. <laughs> like Borky's and with that, <laughs> next week we're gonna have the return of Joe Cat as a double. Hey! Hey! Why are you so, Wait, so you guys, right you guys need to think of who you wish to invite. Uh, someone will have to give a ticket to Remy, um, and the rest of you guys can figure out who you would like to invite to the Moon Kite Circus as NPCs for next week's episode. And yeah, that is yeah. where we are going to end the session for today. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bye, Bye, Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Greg or no? <laughs> so Joe Cat, huh? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. Do you want, uh, you're going away again, right? Yep. 
<laughs> I refuse. I refuse to be in the same stream with him ever again. Wow. Oh, the other one. Also, I'm by brave. the way, Pat, I love. Hey, uh, awesome. hey, uh, hey, uh, Bosco. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to find uh, real fast. Uh, you hear this? This is your contract. Um, this is the contract yeah. you signed yeah. to yeah. be on the Unexpectables. Mm -hmm. Uh, it, it says here sure. that you have to play with Joe Cat, and you can't be upset about it. Yeah, wait, wait sure I'm not like allowed paper. to be upset. Wait, I'm, am I contractually obligated to not be upset with him? Yes. yes. Even after he likes Halo 4? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, Our, no, that changes things. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, Monty, you have one chance. That. You can, you can rip up that contract that. right now. I, we don't have to do this. Bosco, <laughs> nope. Bosco, I'm sorry. You signed the oath. Yeah, you did. In blood. <laughs> All right, can we do a take two? What Just like, is this? Monty, say that Joe Cat's going to be in the session. Go ahead. Joe Cat's going to be in the session. Dude, no way! I love Joe Cat. He's awesome. I love his YouTube series. Name three of his albums. What? Yeah, that's right. You're not a real fan. Joe Cat anyway. Patterson. <laughs> Joseph. Yeah, uh, 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 Cat Over the Moon, uh, uh, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and... Uh, My favorite uh, weapon, the sword and shield. Uh, 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 cat. Just, it's called Cats. Cats. Those are my three favorite. Live action movie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. The Jellicles. Very good. Indeed. Anyway, I guess that does it for us here on the Unexpectables. Takahata, <laughs> where can they find you? You can find me at twitch.tv <laughs> slash Takahata101. Uh, I run a bar, anime bar now. Tomorrow, uh, it'll be open up later at night. Uh, we're we'll doing clip night. It'll be fun. I hired on a femboy. Wild shit's happening over there. Anyways, I'm playing Power Wash Simulator on Saturday. See y'all later. Nice. Zito. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, Evering and Almanac on Patreon. Uh, Aloysius' Guide to Social Acceptance has now been transformed into two books, so hopefully the first volume will be out soon, so you'll at least have 36 playable options to play around with until the second one comes out. It, it used to be, listen, realistically, I had to do this in order to make some kind of a profit, so this wasn't like a complete waste. But when you get both of them together, you'll have... Yeah, uh, somewhere around 80 player options. Damn. Uh, beyond, beyond that, uh, DM, uh, beyond the DM stuff, uh, you could catch me doing Metopia, uh, carts, other indie games. F fucking, what if the second one grows and divides? No, no, I, no, I want this project to end. No. Have you considered adding more to it? <laughs> I did like four times, Kurt. Four times already. I'm adding four just to make the second book even! That's just your OCD talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Cool story, bro. Gaijin, where can they find you? <laughs> uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, also on YouTube at Gaijin Perspective and Gaijin Goomba Media. I have two new videos out on both channels. One of them is the... It's it's more of an abridged version of the, uh, the origin Whoa. of Cat Girls. Don't worry, I'm making a more comprehensive one. Uh, so that's fun. That's been out for a little while. I also have my second of three videos on Resident Evil Village talking about Moreau's weird connections with Kappa, which is confirmed by the devs. By the way, yeah. I, I'm not trying to cut you off and I'm gonna let you finish, but Monty and I were were like totally marking out when we were reading the like behind the scenes art of uh -huh. Resident Evil, because we're like, oh, look at all this stuff that guy probably talked about in his video that we can now watch because we beat the game. Yeah, Moni. Okay, <laughs> no, she was literally like, no, I can finally watch Gaijin's video so he won't kill me. Oh, I don't murder, I just injure. Uh, and yeah, I've got one more video on Donna. Uh, that one's going to be way, that one's probably gonna be my favorite, honestly, to throw together. Uh, aside from that, hey, have you heard about that Final Fantasy 14 game and, and the free expansion thingies well i'm looking i'm doing a witch ninja on the ninja job uh boy howdy that was an interesting patreon poll uh however <laughs> hopefully i will have the assistance of i shit you not the japan ninja council stationed in iga uh so that's going to be wild as long as they get back to me on time uh aside from that this weekend it's probably gonna either gonna be like monster hunter or possibly a musical stream uh, my electric Tyco should be coming in. Hopefully the Bluetooth will work. And if not, I've got, I I'm finally good enough with the Shinobue, which is like a bamboo-ish flute, where I can actually play songs really, really decently. And some people have said in past streams that it sounded nice, so I might do more of that. 
Yay. Very nice. Monty. Woo. Yeah. I was, hoping she would, I, was, I was hoping she would shake the dice in desperation. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's all I know. It's a, it's a, it's a natural <laughs> reaction now. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, and you can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, Wind Waker, Sea Adventures, and my favorite Zelda. So definitely come and check it out. Unfortunately, we've had some technical snafus with Majora's Mask, and I can't play it yet. So we're going to be just, I can't just sit around and kick my feet around. So we're going to be doing Wind Waker tomorrow. Um, I'm really looking forward go. to it. I love Wind Waker. It's my favorite Zelda, so definitely you check it out. The and then, best, right? Yeah. And then Sunday uh, is going to be... We finished Resident Evil 8, like like Bosco has mentioned I'm several gonna times. I'm going to miss you. I know. But we're going to be playing Metopia, which is a huge energy whiplash. Tonal um, shift. <laughs> yeah, really big tonal shift. Uh, but that's going to be our RPG for Sundays until such time as we move on to our next one. Um, I have, I have to tinker around, but I, I have my Game Boy player for the GameCube, so I gotta make sure that that captures as well, and we'll see if I can get that to work. But, that's, that's what's going on for me. And last, but certainly not least, the one and only Distortion Devil. Distortion Devil, where can they find you? What up? They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com, uh, slash Distortion Devil. I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Played some Digimon the trading card game yesterday. That was a lot of fun. Uh, Friday, I'm probably going to be playing more Guilty Gear Strive, maybe? Depends. I'll see how I feel. Saturday, I'm playing through uh, the Yakuza series. We're on Yakuza 4 Remastered right now. Such a damn good game. Please play it. It's really good. Uh, so, uh, oh, the, uh, also, that's happening before Gateway, which is this week. Yeah. Uh, Twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables. And Sunday, I am going to be playing through uh, Resident Evil 8 myself. Uh, I've already played through it a little bit, so uh, yeah, this isn't this isn't a new thing. I'm, I'm just going to be continuing it every Sunday until I beat it, pretty much. So people can send, can say spoiler stuff around me. Very nice. Are you? Did you ever yeah. get past the second boss, or is that still where you stopped? I got past the second boss, yeah. I, I just kind of breezed through it. I was just like, I saw what happened. I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so where are you at right now? Uh, I literally just just beat the second boss. Got it. All right. No spoilers. Uh, cool. Hey. Uh, got a house and on at the end's guild. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Dude, you know what else? Uh, starts with D. Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. Yeah, it's in the oh, fire! Yeah. Die Hard Dice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yep. Oh, there you go. Die goes. Hard Dice. Check out right, their beautiful collection of time. metal and polymer dice. Completely, completely 10% off. As long as you use the promo code Greckles. Also, be gay, do dice. I think that's how it goes. With the rainbow dice, that's right, pride dice are 33% off. Which means they're, what, like eight bucks? Something like that? Something like that. Yeah, eight bucks for gay dice? Dude, like, just have them to show off, if nothing else. Yeah. They're the perfect Pride Month gift. And with that, we got to do some bits and subs. Connor, well, why you got to tell them that they can use the code Greckles at, at I checkout did. to get 10. Oh, did you? Yeah, you You don't list. Go ahead, you can do it Man, too. we all tired tonight. Uh, we are all tired tonight. <laughs> uh, sorry, you started doing the thing and it threw me off. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, right back. My bladder's gonna explode. So. Wow! Shotgun. Everybody, Bosco's doing the end. The end segment. We're leaving. That's what this is. I see. Uh, so where do we leave off on the bit? White again? Fang. White Fang. Yes. I remember it was edgy. Uh, 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 where the fuck is it? Sounds like a fetch I quest item. Find the fucking fucking fucking. Find me the white uh, fang of seven werewolf dwarves. Where is it? I can't see it. Fuck it. I'll just did it refresh on you. Just start from like an hour ago. I don't don't think so. I'll just it, go it, it, down it, the list. It'll just, it, it will just do it randomly, dude. There's no way it rhyme or reason. I don't. I don't think it refreshed at all, though. I I had it up this entire stream, and I've been looking at it and. Uh, I'll just go from Arista Cross. Thank you for the Prime sub. The one free man. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, you see an old man, and he says, You want to crush some gems with my cube? 
My cube. I miss the. I miss those days. Flustered bun. Thank you for the bit. real. You could call Tannis a delf. True. A dad elf. Damn it. Uh, Bellix, ah, thank you for the 14 months. The Percocizer, thank you for the 100 bits. Episode title, but at what cost? Uh, Ace, uh, most of our gold, as it turns out. Uh, da, 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 I actually kind of love that. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. What, at, but at what cost? Okay, Ace Bounty, cost? thank you for the, for the 10 bits. Man, this shopping episode is giving me critical role nostalgia right now. Yeah. Good. Game time. I think the 500 bits. Uncle Iroh. Grekos, you have to look deep within yourself and ask yourself the big questions. When has canon sexuality ever mattered in a fandom? When does the author... When does author intent and fan participation begin? Happy Pride Month, everyone. <laughs> wow, Uncle Iroh said all that? Hot damn. I must have missed what that episode. What episode was that? <laughs> what episode was that? I missed that one. that. Yikes. Uh, Biako71, thank you for the 15 months. Hooray, 15 months. Now back to work. Bye, guys. Um, Igram21, thank you for the 11 months. Greetings, Unexpectables and Company. I'm nearing in on one year anniversary of both my following you and my own campaign. Any tips for fun desert monsters? Ooh, Trincollis, Trincollis. You ever heard of the... Um... Morrow spawn, they're literally fucking constructed uh, uh, Anubis uh, monsters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mummy Lord. Giant scorpions. Werewolf. For fun. Giant vultures. Rocks. Just throw rocks at them. <laughs> In both ROC, the not ROCK. Yeah, throw ROC, it. but also Gallop Durs, Earth Elementals. Throw it, throw a gin at them just for fun. Thry Zombies cream. are good. Yeah, oh, yeah, Thry cream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If, if your friend misses Spelljammer or Eberron, just do it. Piss them off real good. Cobalt, red cobalt specifically. I try not to make a, you kids are going to be pink. God damn it. <laughs> who's, who's farting? Sorry, that's me. I do it when I'm. I do it when my hands don't have anything to do. I just start farting. If you think that question is too much, Connor. Hmm? Connor always makes the fun noises. I, I make all kinds of fun noises. Hey. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> uh, Dread Hunter three three five. Thank you for the fifteen months. I have to ask, how did the poisoned milk of doom go? Uh, well. I still have it in a vial. You do. It's going to curdle if That's it hasn't point. already. That's uh, the point. You're going to feed that to someone and it's going to be bad. No, I'm going to put it on a weapon and shank it's, someone with it. No, it's, it's aged. What the fuck? Don't worry about it. What? <laughs> I'm going to have I'm going to have poison curdled like freaking yogurt put it on that put is, it on a plate and some shank someone. Bro, that's something like George R.R. Oh, Martin. Martin. What are you doing? Alternatively, we can shoot fireballs at our enemies. I was gonna say <laughs> that we're works all too. Past needing to steal <laughs> shitty milk to stab our people, enemies with. People are so uncreative. <laughs> because we can shoot fireballs at people. Dude, I can, uh, I you, can murder with milk. You don't need <laughs> fucking creativity when you have a fireball. Your argument is invalid wait, at that point. Wait, wait, Greckles takes double damage from that. I'm money. I'm not poisoning myself <laughs> for crying out loud. Man, That's amazing. It's right in the after it's like Say that, but you better make a hand check. Hey, uh, Greg, 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 no. no. Greg is mulling all of this over, and then Rat comes in. I'm thirsty. Here, have this. Anyway, I was no. <laughs> <laughs> Just smearing yogurt on his knife. God, I can't believe you killed Joe Cat in the first five minutes. Todd, Todd, Todd is like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yogurt of poison. <laughs> yogurt of poison. Uh, I Grim, thank you for the. Oh no, uh, the Percocizer, thank you for the 100 bits. Remy, younger brother of Probate Corbeau. Wow! Oh my okay. god! All right, <laughs> let's yeah. not let's not go down that road, please. Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the combined 200 bits. Give me those emotes. Hype train starting at 69. percent Nice, nice. Meta Nexus, thank you for the two bits. Here's my two bits. 
Oh, fun fact. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, I noticed it after I cast it. But oh, the, yeah. material, the material component for uh, for detect thoughts is one copper piece. <laughs> so it's because it's penny for your thoughts. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, really <laughs> Did you use a component? That. I, I, it's, I don't need it. I don't need to spend it. I also have, I also have a uh, arcade focus, so I don't actually need to. Uh, How about you kiss my up? ass, you awful, terrible friend? <laughs> I, I, was trying. Sold, I sold rich clams for you. Uh, yeah, and I fucking <laughs> let you read my mind and didn't cut your head off, so we're even. Team clams. Also, I bought you a ring, motherfucker. We're even. I bought you also, a ring. Well, I why did we buy each other? Oh, no. I thought Taz was getting married. Oh, no. Did Panic and Remy just exchange rings? Yes. Being no, a we dungeon, need warding bond being, for that. Oh, shit. Being, being a dungeon master is like being a babysitter, but with extra steps. And murder. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. I lost yeah. my place. Mana Nexus, thank you for the two bits. Morth Rander, thank you for the two months. Uh, or Colin D. Uh, I like Big Bird, and I cannot lie. Thank you for the five bits. Boots of Speed, Gaijin san. That's true. Daniel Bonin, thank you for the 14 months. 14, it's been well over a year. Yeah. Flustered Bun, thank you for the bit. I'm Penny Grimtong, and this is my favorite shop in Alabast. The guy who runs it's kind of a dickhead, though. Excellent. Hey! <laughs> Listen, he's he's really, really fucking strong. Like, I'm not trying to be like... Yeah, but he's a yeah. dickhead. <laughs> he's I'll a fucking fight him anyway. You think uh, I'm scared money. of death? Money. I have it's, a diamond. It's always the strongest ones that are jaded. I know. It's true. I don't fear death. We have diamonds. Were it not for the laws of this land, I would summon a Discord devil right here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Were it not for Teach the you obvious a, thing that I you couldn't know do. You Teach know you a lesson, motherfucker. You know, you know what's great? He has fucking banishment. You know what's great? That would yeah. just send me back home. Well, he has to roll for it first. <laughs> uh, I have a ring of You can get one. God. Uh, We're mature. I like I like Big Bird, and I cannot lie. I think for the five bits, HYT. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Height. 5'11". Uh, the Perkisize, I think, for the 25 bits title. Uh, all I can offer you is. The Perkisize, I think, for the 17 bits uh, episode title, A Crap Guide to Spoilers. That kind of no. gives stuff away, unfortunately. No. Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh shit, does this mean that Rat's a main character now, too? <laughs> Y'all need to calm the fuck down. Pixel Girl, thank you for the 200 bits. Hooray for the grand return of Joe Rat. Zen Lita, thank you for the 200 bits. I can't wait for the return of the second best bard and the first best Unexpectables guest. <sighs> DDR Russian, thank you for the 10 months. Congratulations, Task, and a fun session for everyone else, too. <sighs> the Friendly Grim, thank you for the 100 bits. Will I have to add another one to my list? I don't know. I don't know what Mr. Crispy, is. you just made the last. <sighs> Mr. Crispy, thank you for the 100 bits. I am once again asking for your support. Kill Mel, paid for by the foundation to end the dancing death. In due time. Uh, Magic Ninja Go, thank you for the 100 bits. The Ninja what, Gaijin? Oh, no. The, the Japan Ninja Council, they're an actual thing. Look it up. The secret. The secret society. Oh shit! You joke. Google it. It's it, it exists. Uh, watch out for Yuri Lowenthal. I'm I'm I hear he <laughs> crashes ninja summits a lot. That's a Naruto joke, ladies and gentlemen. Boo! Naruto's <laughs> not real ninja. It's not, but it's cool. I like it, kind of. Uh, <laughs> My pain. His his pain is greater than yours. Just because it's cool. Just because it's cool doesn't mean it has to be good. <laughs> Uh, where was I? Fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 250 bits. Uh, so you can tell me more about this rat fellow. Well, I could give you a guide to him, but it's a bit of a crap guide. I hate it. <clears throat> uh, Zen Lita, thank you for the 300 bits. Last one for the night because I can. Rumor has it they're using maps from the previous game in Dead House, which makes it uh, a legacy of terrain. So yep. did you hear you hear the silence? So Zen, I just I clapped. 
No, no, I, it's a pity clap. But so, Zen, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do, because I, I, I appreciate you. I think you're great. I want you to go home, or if you're home, stay home. I want you to go to the drawing board, and I guess I want you to work through some ideas, like workshop them, talk to your friends, and then for Prince Division or next Wednesday, you know, just come back strong. Just come listen, back strong. I believe in you. Listen, as you got an artist, this. I know you're a pun artist. As as, as, very as an as an artist, I need to tell you this: when it comes to wanting to draw anime like the big boys, you gotta learn how to make it before you break it. Draw the circle first before you try to make the face. I agree. thank you, Zito, and that's a good analogy. <laughs> What about Gateway? <laughs> you what? Do the show for, for next oh, no, but I have to be. Mission. If you make me a guest on Gateway, then yes. You oh. friend, you I have to be. Oh, wait, never mind. I, I never mind. Me out. My brain's somewhere else. Oh. Let's keep it going, kids. I'm sleepy. Uh. <laughs> uh. Da, 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 where was I? Nico Koss, thank you for the. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for the 100 bits. Fuchi Kuchi? What the sorry. hell are you telling me? That I hate it. I hate it. I don't even know what it's about and I don't like it. Or is that or is, or is that fucky cucky? I have no idea. What? It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. I will ah. proceed to not worry about it. <laughs> but I will think funny sound. Funny word. Percocize, I think, with the three bits. Oh, shit. That'd be two on two for episode titles. Also, I'm poor. Hey, don't worry about it, Percocizer. Yeah, take care of yourselves. Uh, yep. Yeah. Make sure you're looking after numero uno, by the yeah. way. You don't don't feel the need to to donate bits if you can't. That's fine. You've got to look out for number one, first of all. Uh, the Percocizer, thank you for the... Wait, no. Uh, Volk, thank you for the one bit. Uh, I made a goofy parody song for Task. Moving out. Check out. Ooh. Oh. Thornton 6000, thank you for the 245 bits. Episode title, Engagement and Enchantment. Enchant me. Mm. Enchant Magic me. Ninja Go. Enchant have me. We, have we have we used that? But what? At, but at what cost? Have we used that before? I don't think. I, I don't so. think so. I don't think so. No. But at what cost? I kind of. I really do. Like I like. Mm, I kind of like that. Magic Ninja Go. Thank you for the one hundred bits. Uh, Connor makes so many noises that any of them can be a jump scare. It's true. <laughs> it, yes, I have a clip to prove it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, <laughs> uh, Zenlita, thank you for the 200 bits. Just kidding. If Grekels assassinate someone with the poison milk at Task Wedding Reception, that would be uh, a. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Say it. A, a red waiting. Uh, I'm no longer laughing. Look how look what you just did. You killed it. Yeah, you ruined it. You ruined it. Who was that? What name? Who do I have to kill? Whoa. Magic Whoa, Ninja Go. Thank you for the 100 bits. So, how has your guys' day been? I'm so uh, you tired. Know. I ate a wagon wheel. I'm a little stinky. I had melon pond because I can buy that now. <laughs> Ooh, you smell like farts, Connor. We know. I I know. I was gonna say I haven't had melon bun in a long time either. Well, maybe you should come visit and come to the I've store never... that's like five minutes away and buy it. I've never I had could. melon bun. M Monty, oh, <laughs> oh wow, you kids, wow. It's sticky bread that that tastes like melon. No, it's... no, it is bread wrapped in cookie dough and then baked. And then sometimes and... there's chocolate chips in it. Yes. The fuck what kind yeah. of melon bread have I been eating? The wrong kind, apparently. Oh God. oh God! It only only slights slightly tastes of melon. That 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 sounds divine. Holy oh, shit! Yes. Oh yeah. Is it uh, drifting directionless divine? Uh -huh. Yeah, crumbling cookie crumbled crack coronas. Can, can we keep going? I think You're falling asleep, just, dude. Come on. All, we, we all need to hit. We need to go no. back. Thank you for the ten bits, Bosco. It's okay. You're a main character now. You don't have to compete with Joe Cat anymore. I always have to compete with Joe Cat. Wow. Oh, I see. Brian Merrill, thank you for the 20 bits. Uh, I just realized I gave my first ever bits earlier. Hey, appreciate it. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Flustered Bun, thank you for the two bits. No, ba Bosco, Zen's puns are great. Uh, you just hate them. 
I mean, they're, they're I mean, not yeah. mutually exclusive. They can be bad and I can hate them. It doesn't. That's true. Is that a fucking cookie cl clicker? It emote? sure is. Damn. Uh, Vortex129, thank you for the 100 bits. I can't wait for Remy to go have his character arc, rescue his father, while e watching everyone else go to the circuits. <laughs> <laughs> Myers the Nerd. Thank, thank you for the 100 bits. Also, I got some milk tea flavored mochi with boba in it at Costco the other day. Oh, oh you lost me no at boba. Thanks. You lost no me at boba. No, like, I, I'm yeah, sorry to be that person, but I really like boba. I'm sorry. I mean, you can like whatever you like. I just don't. I I'm, they have I just don't beer. see the appeal of 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 slimy balls that taste like tapioca. <laughs> booba, 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 booba. Booba. Yeah. Monty booba. confirmed his basic. I know. Got him. <laughs> Damn. Want to go for bubble tea? Grimm, oh, think God. of the bubble three tea. bits. Uh, it sounds pretty insecure, Bosco. What does? Did anything really? Oh, okay. And finally, ah, Volk five five oh, one. Thank you for the bit. I forgot to tell you where the goofy song is. It's in the Discord under fan audio. Ah, there you uh, go. And with that, uh, where should we send this huge party of fucking you know, nerds? You know who we haven't rated for a decent amount of time? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Mr. Therapod Art. Yeah, but we don't want to do that, do we? <laughs> the Ropid. Uh, the Rope yeah. Pod. Yeah. Does anybody else the have any pod. suggestions or? No, I, I mean, think I, that's, uh, that's a pretty good right. one. We'll I mean, I mean, you can. I could. You're just could, mad because you threw them around earlier. I, I could, did, I could yeah. throw in my two cents next time. Yeah. That's but, but, just a pharaoh. Get out uh, of here. Our our raid message will be. What should our raid message be? We're going to the circus. We're going. Oh, that's kind of a spoiler. No, that's, spoilers. That's, that's a big good. spoiler. Why yeah, would you do that to yeah, Therapod? Because there's no context. Yeah, but he hates that because when he gets there, he'll be like, oh, why? Should our raid message just be money, 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 money? Yeah, money, 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 I was, money, I was about money. to say walk the dinosaur, but. Also, oh, no yeah. spoilers. Go. Can, can the raid no message spools. just be yeet? Got five we, haircuts. We got clown emotes. Time. If you got clown emotes, throw them my throw them at him. That's there my that's my suggestion. Walk if you got clown emotes, get, get in there. He made a wine. 